is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. This is the Bearcat Sports Network. It's time for Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. 101.7 KSAM has every dribble, swish, and squeak from buzzer to buzzer live. Now let's head down to the floor with the voice of the Bearcats, Rob Hip. All right, friends, a pleasant good afternoon and welcome to another edition of Sam Houston Men's Basketball here on 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. I'm Rob Hip, your play-by-play announcer. As always, such a joy and privilege to be able to bring these games to you tonight. We're here in Huntsville, Texas, after Sam Houston taking care of business versus Stephen F. Austin on Saturday in a 49-41 victory, hosting second in the Western Athletic Conference, New Mexico State University Aggies here tonight. They're one of the top teams in the entire Division I program, averaging or in 10th place or right around that 10th spot in rebounding. They're going up against a Bearcat team that does pretty well on the boards as well. But tonight, it should be a good one here. And many are saying this is kind of the litmus test, if you will, for Sam Houston to see where they really stand in college basketball. Of course, Sam Houston, I talked about coming off that victory versus Stephen F. Austin. They're on a three-game win streak right now. It all started back at Abilene Christian when Jaden Ray laid one off the glass off the left side in the Bearcats 65-63 victory in that contest back on January the 8th. And then at Lamar, taking care of business there in Beaumont, 73-56. And, of course, back on Saturday, a 49-41 victory over the Lumberjacks of Stephen F. Boston. By the way, in that first half, the Bearcats held the Jacks to only 12 points. That was the lowest that they have held a team since they have been in Division I. But again today, going up against a very tough and competitive New Mexico State team. It is the third matchup, actually the fourth matchup overall now for these two teams. It goes back to the 1989-90 season where the Bearcats lost on the road. All games, by the way, have been played in Las Cruces, New Mexico. It was a 84-66 loss then, and then in 92 93, a 104 to 76 loss. And the Bearcats, their very last matchup versus these Aggies all the way back in 2005 on the road again in Las Cruces. It was an overtime victory, 78 to 77. We're moments away from tip-off for now, though. I'll send it back as I had a chance to catch up with Sam Houston head basketball coach Jason Hooden. We'll have that interview from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. The Grove, Tough Shirts and Eagle Graphics, U.S. Army ROTC, Under Armour, University Hotel, and Villas on Sycamore. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Rob Hip here pregame with Sam Houston men's basketball head coach Jason Hooten as we quickly look back briefly here before we get started today versus New Mexico State. Coach, your team victorious versus Stephen F. Austin, the first win since 2019 against a tough squad. They had a lot of injuries, but I don't want to take anything away from Sam Houston holding the Lumberjacks only 12 points in that first half. I know we talked post game. Kind of your thoughts on that ball game? Yeah, I thought our guys, you know, really met the challenge as far as just toughness and defense and. You know, just making the tough plays. I thought that's what we did. And then, you know, we went through a huge stretch in the second half where we couldn't make a shot. You got to give those guys credit. They played great defense during that stretch. And we just, man, we just couldn't get one to go in. And uh, the, the thing I was most proud of was our guys really stuck together and we just didn't lose any confidence and we kept playing and playing. And then, you know, we got one or two to go in. And I thought the last five minutes, uh, we kind of dominated there at the, you know, the last five minutes of the game as well. It's game two of a three game homestand today, hosting second in the WAC conference, the New Mexico State Aggies, a very tough team. A uh, team that comes in here, again, as I said, second in the WAC conference. Just kind of your thoughts heading into this ball game today. Well, they're the most talented team in our league, or one of the two. I think them in Grand Canyon are probably more talented than anybody in the league. Uh, they've got 13, 12 guys that they can play. Uh, they've got size. I think the smallest guy on their team, 6'2", 6'3". And you know, it's just a huge challenge for us tonight. We're going to have to play very well. We're going to have to, you know, we're going to have to play our game and our style and our tempo and, you know, just 
we're going to have to guard like we did Saturday, and then we're going to have to make some shots tonight. Of course, Coach, when you win, you know, things seem a lot more fun. Everybody's kind of getting along a lot better as far as the players go. Not that they never did before, but it just seems that things are starting to click for these guys. How do you feel that, that they've been through these last few games, you know, getting a big win versus Abilene Christian and then against SFA? Yeah, I think we've just kind of done what most of our teams have done here, and that's just get better as the year goes on. Um, you know, as you said, I mean, obviously winning – makes everybody feel better, makes everybody get along better. Um, but, you know, you got – there's a lot to that. And, you know, you got a lot of hard work in the, involved in that. And you also sometimes have to take some some lumps to get to that point. And I think our guys did. I think they took their share of lumps uh, and deserve what they're getting right now. And, you know, we just got to keep getting better. I mean, we know how tough this stretch is right here, you know, with this guy, these guys tonight and then Grand Canyon Saturday. Uh, but we just got to – we just got to keep taking it a game at a time and just kind of, you know, trying to improve and trying to get better in some of those other areas and, you know, let's try to put the best team together we can going into Las Vegas in, in March. Now it's time for Coach Hooten's Keys of the Game presented by Emblem Properties Real Estate. Coach, as always, your keys to victory in this one tonight. Well, the number one key in this game is we, we've got to get back and stop them and transition. They're very fast. They're very athletic. They shoot quick shots. Um, and then it really leads into the second one, which might be the most important statistic in this game, and that's rebounding. They're probably, I think they're 10th in the country in offensive rebounding and you know they just got a bunch of grown men and we got to do a good job tonight when that shot goes up of, of blocking out and then I think the most of uh, the third most important thing tonight and the key is again what I said a little earlier about just running our stuff and being us and playing within ourselves we can't get into a um, a run and gun quick shot talent thing with these guys because they just have so much talent and you know they can get away with taking some quick shots because they offensive rebound so well and you know they've got so many different weapons we, we've got to play our game we've got to make them guard us and we've got to play at our speed and our pace the keys of the game brought to you by emblem properties real estate who offers the customer service difference where our clients are number one coach as always appreciate your time good luck tonight and eat them up cats thanks rob eat them up cats and this wraps up our pregame with head coach jason houghton we'll have more from van wagner this is the bearcat sports radio network Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat them up, cats. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. 
Back at it, friends. Thanks for joining us here on the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. I'm Rob Pip. Moments away from getting started here at Johnson Coliseum. We'll have the national anthem here in just a few moments. At Sam Houston men's basketball, their toughest test of this season, going up against a very tough and competitive New Mexico State Aggie team. They enter in 15 and 2, 4 and 0 in WAC play. They currently sit in second. And your Sam Houston Bearcats, 10 and 9 overall, but 5 and 1 in the Western Athletic Conference. Sam Houston trying to come out here tonight and take care of business against a very tough team. New Mexico State averages 77 points a game, 48 from the field, 33 behind the arc. A 73% free throw shooter. They rebound 37.9 per game, almost 15 assists, a little over four blocks, five assi- five steals. They hold opponents to 67 points. Their field goal defense is at 39%. Their three-point three point field goal defense at 30%. And they out-rebound their opponents on average by 7.2. As Quentin Baylor, the public address announcer here, welcoming the crowd in. We've got a good crowd here again tonight. We had an excellent crowd on Saturday versus Stephen F. Austin. And here in just a few moments, we will have that national anthem. Again, Sam Houston, they're standing on the left side. Everyone is facing the front of Johnson Coliseum the United States and the Texas flag draped from the Raptors. We'll go now for our country's national anthem. Stay with us. This is Sam Houston men's basketball here live tonight. This evening by the Sam Houston State University Band. and playing of our country's national anthem brought to you by the Sam Houston State University Marching Band. We'll go over the starting lineups for the visiting New Mexico State University Aggies out of Las Cruces, New Mexico. Again, 15-2 overall, 4-0 in whack play. They will start with the 6'6 junior guard out of Phoenix, Arizona. The transfer from Nebraska, it's number zero, Teddy Buckets Allen. 6'3", junior guard out of Seattle, Washington. A transfer from Washington, number three, Nate Pryor. A 6'5", junior out of Houston, Texas, Thurgood Marshall High School. It's a guard, number 10, Jabari Rice. A 6'10", sophomore forward out of Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, Martin Luther King High School, number 13, Will McNair, junior. A 6'8", senior forward out of Las Cruces, New Mexico. It is number 35, Johnny McCants. And here is your Sam Houston Bearcats Starting lineup tonight. Turnaround jumper here, Tristan Ikpe starting early, and the Bearcats take a two-point advantage. Find Lampley from the corner, weaving through traffic, the jumper, the two-shot, the yes! There it is to Marcus Lampley for two. Turn on the light. Over to Jaron Cook for three. Light the stove, baby! It's Jaron Cook, and the Bearcats are on fire here in the first half. He pulls it back down though. Oh, what a play by Javion May as he hauled in aggressively the offensive rebound and dropped it back in off the right side of the glass. Dante Powers, zing, zang, bang, there it is for two. Oh, call dancing with the stars. We got a new celebrity on the court, it's Dante Powers. Hey, saying I can dance just as good as you guys on TV. I do it on the basketball court. At guard, a six foot seven, 215 pound grad senior from Texas A&M University, number one Savion Flag. At guard, a six foot two, 195 pound junior from Chicago, Illinois, number 11. I'm Javion May. At forward, a six foot six, 225 pound senior from Deer Park, Texas, number 12. I'm Tristan Ebay. At guard, a five foot ten, 165 pound junior from Midwest City, Oklahoma, number 13. I'm Jaden Ray. At guard, a six two, 175 pound senior from Phoenix City, Alabama, number three. I'm lighting up the market. Let's
So once again, your starting lineup for Sam Houston at Savion Flag, Demarcus Lampley, Javion May, Tristan E. Pay, and Jaden Ray. And as I said earlier for New Mexico State, it is Teddy Allen, Nate Pryor, Sir Jabari Rice, Will McNair Jr., and Johnny McCanson. You may have heard me say Teddy Buckets Allen. That's his nickname as, boy, he made up for that nickname big time in the previous matchup for the Aggies as they dominated. He dominated, pumping in 41 points on a 13 of 20 showing from the field. He led New Mexico State to a 77 to 63 win over Abilene Christian this past Saturday, but not to be outdone for Sam Houston. They're coming off of that thrilling 49 to 41 victory over rival Stephen F. Austin in the Battle of the Piney Woods Hardwood Edition on Saturday. The Bearcats improving 10 and 9 and 5 and 1 and whack play. Savion Flagg, who's in that running for the Lou Hinton mid-major awarded and recognizes the best player in the mid-major. He's in the running for that. 19.6 boards played the entire 40 minutes. The Texas A&M graduate transfer, Jaden Ray, who has been a force here for this team, as of late had 16. Javion May had a team-high eight rebounds. Sam Houston tonight in their white jerseys, the white shorts, the triangle on each side of the pant leg in black and orange. SH, the logo to the right. Bearcat numbers in orange outlined in black. And the opening tip-off is underway, and here we go from Huntsville, Texas. As the Aggies will control it, they'll move from right to left in their black jerseys and black shorts. Pass goes down low here. As the Aggies have it, it's McCants. They'll kick it back up top over the left wing, now over to Allen. The names, by the way, for the Aggies written across the back in that red maroon. Here's a three-pointer by Allen, left wing. That shot no good. Rebound, Chain and Ray. And here come the Bearcats for the first time tonight on their home court. We are 30 seconds into this one here in the first half. Jaden Ray has it on the right side. He'll rotate to the left wing. Guarded by two up top, now retracting. Pass over to DeMarcus. Light him up, Lampley from the right wing. Back up top over to Ray. Plenty of time on the shot clock. He weaves through traffic, throws it over his shoulder. Savion flag for three. Yes, baby! Savion flag from downtown, and the Bearcats take an early 3-0 advantage here against the Aggies of New Mexico State University. Here are the Aggies. A three here jacked up, rattles in a bank shot. That one was made there by Sir Jabari Rice. He's a 37% three-point shooter. Flag now. He's trying to work from near that left wing. He'll retract. Left hand, right-handed pass to Lampley. Hand off Jaden Ray at the top here on the right side. As he'll evaluate the court. Directing his offense here, Jaden Ray, the junior guard. Bounces his dribble down, almost turned over, able to hold on to it. Here's Savion Flag from the parking lot. Yes, baby! Oh, Mama Savion Flag! Two for two, and the Bearcats leading. They're showing it 6-0. I'm not sure earlier they didn't mark that three-pointer earlier by Allen. I thought it went in. I'll have to evaluate that. They're showing 6-0. The Bearcats with the early advantage here. Here come the Aggies on the right baseline. Back up, straight away three on its way. McCants, this one, no good. And it's Tristan Epe fighting for the rebound. We've got a jump ball, baby. How about that for Tristan Epe? The possession arrow favoring the Bearcats. The momentum on their side right out of the gate. We're two minutes into this one, 18.08 to go on the Miller Time game clock here as we open it up tonight for the Bearcats again, 5-0 or 5-1. In the Western Athletic Conference going up against New Mexico State. They have been hot. So have the Bearcats, though. This is a true test for the Sam Houston team as Ipe has it at the top from the pass. Jaden Ray down to Javion May. He'll go. Here's another three. This one on the way, and it's not on the mark there from that left wing for Savion Flag. Aggies quickly from far side. Javion May is going to quick up, pick up a quick foul here. He's reached in a little bit too much. So J.B. May will pick up his first personal. It's the first team foul. 17.47 to go on the Miller Time game clock. Yeah, that other shot by Allen went in and out. From my angle for a moment, it looked like it dropped in. So still no score here for New Mexico State. 6-0, 17.46 to go here in the opening half. As Nate Pryor has it here for the Aggies at the top, the bounce pass goes down to McCann. At the top here, pass down over to McNair Jr. He'll fling it over to the right wing. Rice now back down low on the right baseline. McNair Jr. double team, trying to go up against Epe. He'll find some dice and slice. The shot's not there. The rebound, Epe. 
Bearcats leading 6-0 and another opportunity here on the offensive side. Sam Houston, two of three from the field, both of them three-pointers by Savion Flagg. Jaden Ray has it on the right side, Epe with the high screen. Now back up to the top of the three is Epe directing traffic as he'll send Savion Flagg down to the left baseline, finds Lampley. Lampley, jumper from just inside the three-point line, good for two. And the Bearcats are on an 8-0 run over the first three minutes to start this ball game here tonight in Huntsville, Texas. The Aggies' prior has it. He'll float one on a teardrop. This one won't fall. Bounced around. Epe fighting for it. It's on the court down to McNair Jr. And a whistle here. And we'll see if the Bearcats have it. They whistle this one down there. Coming up from the bottom of it's McNair Jr. And a jump ball possession arrow will stay with New Mexico State. So again, 16.47 to go in the first half on that Miller time game clock. Sam Houston under a great crowd tonight here at Johnson, leading 8-0. Inbounding the ball just in front of the scores table and to the left of the Sam Houston bench is Sir Jabari Rice. He'll pass over to Pryor. Pryor standing near the half-court line on the S of the SH logo, rotating from right to left. Pass goes down off the foot, and it's turned over, baby. Johnny McCants had ants in his pants and turned it over. The Bearcats will inbound here on the Aggies baseline going from left to right. It is Savion Flagg standing on the M of the Sam Houston logo, bounces it in off the left hand to Jaden Ray. Ray commanding the offense will go to Javion May. He'll now bring it on the near side into the front court. Double team finds Epe. Epe wants some life. Left side, good for Tristan Epe. Oh, baby, these... Bearcats are hot here out of the game. 10-0 lead. 16-20 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the opening frame. Aggies back to the left side. It's Teddy Buckets Allen. He'll take a three. This one on the way. No good. Rebound down there. Up and good by the big man, Johnny McCants. He's a six foot seven senior forward. And after a 10-0 run to start this game over four minutes, finally the Aggies find something down there on that left side. Bearcats leading 10-2. Jaden Ray brings it into the front court from left to right. Guarded up top by Pryor. He goes from the right elbow. Back up to the top of the three-point line, Tristan Epe. Epe waiting on his teammates. Wanted to hand off to Lampley. Instead, zing this one over to Savion Flag on the left wing. Thought about a three. Retracted. And a charge. Oh, man. Well, a little flop down there, but they're going to call it a charge as McCants went down. And it is the first personal foul of the second team foul, that first personal foul on Savion Flag. That will take us to our first media timeout. Bearcats coming out hot, baby. Right now, it's cold outside, but burning up here, blistering in Johnson Coliseum. The Bearcats shooting 80%, four for five, and 67% from downtown. We'll step aside. We'll take a 60-second break from Ben Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Back at it, friends. Sam Houston men's basketball live tonight on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Thanks for joining us. I'm reminding you these games made possible in part by our good friends at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. Bearcats leading 10 to 2, 15-42 to go in the Miller Time game clock here in the first. Sam Houston coming out hot here, 10-0 run to start things before McCants earlier able to lay one in off the left side of the glass. This New Mexico State team, by the way, they were scheduled to fly out of Las Cruces to Houston originally yesterday. That flight was scheduled for 3.30. It kept getting delayed, finally got canceled. And so the Aggies actually had to fly in to Dallas. That happened around 6.30. And they finally got on the road, and once they landed in Dallas, they did not make it into Huntsville until well after midnight, around 1.30. I was talking to their SID earlier. Charlie said these guys had to eat some candy and stuff last night because their food also got messed up. And so now 
here at it. We'll take it back in on the inbounds. A miss here from Pryor, and another rebound by Tristan Epe. The Bearcats trying to take it back by 10, leading by eight. 10 to two, 15, 20 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first. Jaden Ray has it on the right side of the left wing. He'll pass it over to JV on May, up top Lampley. Lampley hands it off back to Ray. Right wing, high screen there by Epe. Flip it back over to Savion Flag. Able to hold on to it, down to eight on the shot clock for Flag. Over to Jaden Ray, who's been the wizard here on late shots, and that one won't fall in. Had a nice look from the right wing. I talk about Jaden Ray, who's able to usually bury those as time is running out. So a missed shot there for Jaden Ray. The Bearcats finally missing some here. Still leading 10-2 as the Aggies have it back on the left side over to Pryor. Pryor, chest pass from the belt line goes to Allen. And we got a blocking foul here. Oh, goodness. Just inside the left elbow on Jaden Ray. It's his first personal and the third team foul by Sam Houston. So tough break there for the Bearcats. Checking in for the first time is Clayton Henry for the Aggies, a six foot four senior guard. So on the court for New Mexico State, it is Alan Tillman, Henry Rice, and Alok, who also checked in just a few moments ago. Rice will inbound on his own baseline on the right side, or actually on the left side of the court, but on the right baseline. Pass goes up top to Allen. Allen from the right wing. Picks up his dribble. Great defense down there, J.B. on May. And Allen turns it over. He threw it away, but that was the pressure brought there by J.D. on May. That is the factor maker for this Bearcat team. You go back to the only loss in conference play. It was at Tarleton, and that's where J.D. on May didn't play. This Bearcat team could be 6-0 if he was on the court in that game. 10-2, Sam Houston by 8, 14, 20 to go here in the first. Ray bounce pass over to Flag from the left baseline. He traveled. Oh, tough break there for Savion. He came out hot two for two from downtown to start things. He's cooled off, and now a turnover here by Flag. He's already got two in this ball game, six points, two of three. All of his attempts have been from three-point land. 14-18 to go in the middle of time game clock here in the first. Sam Houston holding on to that eight-point advantage. They've led by as many as 10 when it was 10-0 with four minutes into this one. Rice will bring it into the front court from right to left. This one over the left wing to Henry. Henry bounces it down low over to Alak, who just checked in moments ago. Turnaround jumper, no good. Epe with another rebound. Oh, baby, he's hot on the boards tonight. His Jaden Ray will bring it back to the right side here for the Bearcats. Standing on the top of the three-point line, he is guarded by Allen. Flips this one over Lampley. Now to Flag. Flag, a little underhand scoop goes to JV on May. Ball out of bounds. It was tipped by the Aggies, and it will stay inbounds, or will go back to Sam Houston. They'll hold on to the possession. It went out right dead center in front of the scorer's table. JV on May will check it out. Back over the bench, gets a standing ovation. All the coaches giving him a high five. And Dante Powers for Sam Houston will check in for the first time tonight. The six foot two junior guard averaging five points a game and averages around 21, point, or 21 minutes per game. Bounce pass down to Jaden Ray. Ray flips it over. Powers left wing three. Finding the power, no. It dropped out and it was almost in there. Ricocheted out. And the ball dropped over here to Allen. Allen will bring it from right to left into the front court. Now over. In between the marks, he'll go to the right wing to Rice. Rice, guarded here by Powers, trying to stutter struck him down there. He'll step back, trying to lean into Powers. This one on the court, turned over. Jaden Ray has it, and here come the Bearcats. Two on one, this one flipped back. Ray a little fast, Lampley saved it. Almost went out of bounds. Lampley with the hot hands able to save it. But Dante Powers here, Savion Flag, straight away three, won't fall. Boy, Flag has now missed two threes in a row. He's two of four. All of them three-pointers here tonight. 10-2. Bearcats have not scored in 3:30. The Aggies haven't scored in almost that same amount of time. On the right wing here. Boy, I thought a travel there on Allen. No call. Allen floats this one from the right elbow. Shot's not there. High up into the air. A look. He'll float this one up. No good. Another rebound. He'll put this one up. Shot won't fall, but he's fouled. And two free throws coming up here for Uat Alak. This young man, six foot eleven, senior. That flag, foul is on Savion Flag, his second personal in the fourth team foul. And again, a lock at the line here to shoot those free throws. Five of seven, 71% free throw shooter in 14 games. He averages six points a game here for this Aggie team. He's on the left side, takes a couple of dribbles, right-handed free throw on its way, no good. Kuba Krawowski, the fan favorite from Warsaw, Poland, stands tall at seven foot two. He will check into the ball game. Also, Damon Nicholas Jr. for the Bearcats in there as Savion Flag and Tristan Ipe head over the bench. 
One more free throw attempt coming up here for a lock. He missed the first one, second one on the way. This one buried at the bottom of the net. That will stop that three minute, 30 second scoring drought for the Aggies. 10-3, Bearcats by seven. 12.32 to go here in the first on that Miller time game clock. It's Jaden Ray. He'll dice his way into the front court. He got pushed backwards there. And the official calling a foul here on the Aggies. That is Sir Jabari Rice, his first personal and the first team foul by the Aggies. So heading over to the bench now is Jaden Ray. He'll get a stand up from his team as well. And checking in for the first time tonight, the 5'11 freshman guard, Javon Grant. Grant with the inbound pass. On that right side, now stands at the top of the three, high screen, Kowalski. Grant, left wing, throws it over to Lampley. Lampley working a right-handed dribble, rotates to the top of the three, now wiggles his way inside. Floats this one up in the air and it's out of bounds. Went off the fingertips there, I believe it was by Allen. It will stay with the Bearcats, but only five seconds on the shot clock. Sam Houston's gotta look up and make sure that they know there's only five on that clock. The coaching staff is pointing to that basket on the right side. Inbound pass, Grant. Long three, right wing. Oh, baby, he buried it! Devon Grant buried it from downtown! The Bearcats extended back to 10, 13 to 3, 11, 58 to go here in the first. Back over to the left side, Clayton Henry. Down low to Tillman. Whistle and a foul here on Damon Nicholas Jr., who checked in just a few moments ago. Several players raising their hand. They're wanting that foul credited to them. And we'll have, yep, it is on Nicholas. That is his first personal 15 foul. That will take us to our second media timeout. Bearcats 13 to three, 11.53 to go. In the first from Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Weezer of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past year. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring. And may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Weezer of Huntsville. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat em up, cats. Welcome back, friends. 11.53 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first half. Sam Houston men's basketball leading New Mexico State 13-3. The Bearcats trying to hold it tough here on their home court tonight. It's a very tough place to play here at Johnson Coliseum. Sam Houston always playing very well on their home court, but they are going up against the number two team in the Western Athletic Conference in the Aggies here tonight. Those two losses, they're 15-2 and two are the Aggies. Those two losses... It's all the way back in November. They picked up both of them then. It was on night, the 19th versus Utah State in an 88 to, or 85 to 58 loss there. And then hosting New Mexico, 101 to 94 loss on November the 30th. Since then, this Aggies team has not lost. Free throws coming up here on the left side. Bend the knees, the first one on the way here, and it is good. That free throw good there by Donnie Tillman, the six foot seven senior. He enters this game a 68% free throw shooter. He's played in 12 of the 17 games so far this season. He'll spin it around his hands, bends his knees, right-handed free throw, good. Boy, that one played a little Will of Fortune ping pong as it dropped in, Plinko rather. Oh, I got all my games mixed up. I'm talking Price is Right there. Price is Right Plinko, baby. <laughs> Javon Grant. Passes over to Powers. Powers to Nicholas. He'll throw this one up. Kowalski swimming home, baby. Oh, mama. Nicholas found Kowalski, and the seven foot two big man said, Slam it home, baby. 15 to five. Bearcats back by 10, tying their largest. Driving in a lock. Floats it up. No good. Kowalski was on him. It almost went down, rolled, and ricocheted out. And now here comes. 
Javon Grant, who had that three-pointer just moments ago. The Bearcats leading 15 to 5, 11, 14 to go here on that Miller time game clock in the first half. Power straight away three, finds the power. Oh my goodness, the Bearcats burying it from downtown, now shooting four of eight and taking their largest lead, 18 to 5, 10, 58 to go here in the first. The Aggies back on the far side, moving from right to left. Inside Henry, he's trapped down there. Lampley retreats to the left wing, working a right-handed dribble, high screen by Alok. Handoff pass goes up top to Rice, and a whistle and a foul here before the shot. Foul ball before the shot attempt on number zero. I believe it's on Javon Grant. That is his first personal, and the sixth team foul by Sam Houston. Still a lot of time here in this first half with 10.43 to go, so one more foul by the Bearcats will put the Aggies in the bonus. A couple of substitutions here. Tristan Ipe set to check back in. Javon Grant will head over the bench. Nice performance by Javon Grant. He had a critical three here for Sam Houston as he'll head back over to the bench. Inbounding here for the Aggies is Nate Pryor. On the left baseline, trying to go up high, he'll find McCants. It's turned over. There's Epe. Here comes Dante Powers, one on two. Floats it up left side. I think he lost his footing. He was trying to decide if he was going to go for it. That's going to leave Pryor wide open. He'll lay it up and good off the left side. So the Bearcats trying to turn a defensive rebound into a fast break, and they were not able to convert there. I think Dante Powers just got a little too much ahead of himself. 18 to seven, Bearcats up front, 10-16 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first. Powers has it on the right side near the left wing. Bounce pass up top over to Nicholas. Nicholas, couple of dribbles with his left hand, drops back off, Powers at the top of the three. Stepping up, guarding him is Pryor. Powers, still working here from near the right wing, finds Epe, left elbow, driving inside, flips this one up, partially gets it blocked, down to one, they've got to shoot, they've got to shoot, as Lampley throws it up, and that's a shot clock violation. I think Epe knew that that clock was running down. That's one thing about these Bearcats. They are very disciplined when it comes to that clock. You will very rarely see Sam Houston with a shot clock violation. Coach Hooten still happy with his team as he gives Damon Nicholas a pat on the back as he heads back over the bench. And Javion, Ray will, Javion May will check back into the ball game. It is Krawowski, May, Powers, Epe, and Lampley out there for Sam Houston. The Aggies have it back on the left side. It's Clayton Henry of the left wing. Allen down low, he'll find McCants. This one, it's blocked, goes out of bounds. It will stay with the Aggies with 16 seconds on the shot clock. Great job down there by Sam Houston. This defense, they are holding the Aggies right now to only two of 14 at 14% to start this ball game. Here's a three, left wing off the front of the rim. JV on May with the rebound. That shot missed, by the way, by Henry. Here's Dante Powers. He'll look over his left shoulder as Coach Hooten directing him. Powers now commanding the offense to the right side, top of the three, guarded by Pryor. Rotates over right wing. Working some dribbles here from the free throw line. Picks it up, finds Kowalski. Kowalski, this one knocked out of bounds. As he was trying to go to Demarcus Lampley on that left wing, Allen there. They call him Buckets, but that time the defense by Allen knocking it out of bounds. Two more substitutions for the Aggies coming back into the ball game as Rice uh, alongside Avery, and heading over to the bench there is Henry and Tillman. Here's a three, Lampley left wing. Oh, baby, it's raining threes. Demarcus, turn on the lights. Light them up, Lampley from downtown. How about these Bearcats, baby? Leading 21 to seven, nine minutes to go here on the Miller time. Game clock in the first half. The Aggies have it back over on the left side. Holding it above his head, McCants. This one almost poked away. Rice able to hold on to it. Lampley was down there with the defense. Rice has it down to nine on the shot clock. I don't think he realizes it. Down to five. McCants sees it. Flings this one down low. Over to McNair. McNair down to two. Here's a three straight away. McCants, yes. Buried it at the buzzer for a young man that's only a 22% free throw or three point shooter. Seven of 32 on the season. That was his eighth three pointer. And a huge one there for the Aggies. Sam Houston leads 21 to 10, 8.25 to go in the first. Powers on the right side. Powers has it, Pryor guarding him. Down low, pass, this one shot no good by Kurwowski, but two free throws coming up for the seven foot two fan favorite, Kuba Kurwowski. Foul was called on McNair Jr., his first personal, the second team foul by New Mexico State University, and here is Kuba Kowalski, a 36% free throw shooter, only five of 14. 
Such a force down there. He'll be in his knees, right-handed free throw. Yes, good free throw there by Kuba Kowalski. Jaden Ray. Ray will check back into the ball game for DeMarcus Lampley as Lampley will head over to the bench. All smiles as assistant coach Mudge and assistant coach Bailey giving him a high five. Also his bench down there high five. And here's Kowalski, second free throw. Yes, mama, that one good as well. And Kean Scroggins will check in for the first time tonight for the Bearcats. Kuba Kowalski, all high fives from his bench. The six foot seven freshman forward. Again, Kean Scroggins out there now for the Bearcats. 23 to 10, Sam Houston up front. As the Aggies have it here, moving from right to left. 8-11 to go in the first. Now bring it into the front court as Pryor over to the left wing, down to Rice. Rice trying to work left baseline, reach in here by Dante Powers. And Powers saying, I can't believe it. The offensive foul called on number 10, Jabari. No, I beg your pardon, it was on. Wow, it was on Jabari Rice, an offensive foul. Up there for a moment, maybe Powers called it. No, that was an offensive foul by Rice, his second personal. At an offensive variety in the third team foul by the Aggies. 23-10, eight minutes to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first half. Sam Houston men's basketball leading the Aggies. Jaden Ray to the right wing, retracts back over left wing, Ipe. Ipe flips this one from the belt line over to May, back to Ipe, left corner. Chest pass, this one dropped over to JV on May. May has it out there, Scroggins setting the high screen, bounce down, Ipe, baseline, over, right corner, Ray. Ray wiggling his way inside, floater, good! Oh, Jaden Ray with a nice floater there on the right baseline. The Bearcats back up by 15. That is now their largest lead, 25 to 10, 7.30 to go here in the first half. Bringing it back over here, the Aggies, they've got it on the left side. Trying to put some sort of dagger here in this Sam Houston team that has just been hot here to start this ball game. Allen floats it back over. McCants, right corner three, yes. After only making seven three-pointers on the season, he has now made two in a row. 25-13, Bearcats, 12-point advantage, under seven to go here in the first half. Ray on the right side, finds Powers. Powers holding it over his head. Back over to JV on May, bounce pass Ray down low, Ipe, turn around floater here, Ipe, this one too soft, and the rebound of McCants. McCants way up into the air for that one on the far side. Bearcats have made five of their last six, by the way. Here's McCants, three-pointer right wing, this one a little too soft, Ipe had a hand, Jaden Ray, oh baby, he wanted to call NASA and turn on those rockets, but he turned them down for just a bit. Right wing, Powers, three, on its way, good, Dante Powers! 28-13, Bearcats back by 15. The Aggies have it, and it's a travel! Marcellus Avery traveled. The fans are on their feet tonight here at Johnson Coliseum. 28-13. We'll step aside and take a 90-second, actually we'll take a 60-second break. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Back at it, friends. 28-13, your score. Sam Houston men's basketball leading Mexico State University Aggies. We'll pause and take 10 seconds for station identification. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. 101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcats Sports Network. Once again, 28-13, Bearcats tied their largest lead. They started this ballgame, by the way, 10-0. 
So far, though, only four of 18 from the field for New Mexico State. 22% while the Bearcats, they have been blistering on a chilly night here in Huntsville, Texas. 10 of 16 from the field, 62%. They are 6 of 10 from the three-point land tonight at 60%. Kuba Kowalski, 2 of 2 from the free throw line. Sam Houston looking strong here, and we hope that they can keep that momentum up. Always like to thank you for joining us tonight here. My beautiful fiance and my daughter Bridget Brennan and Braylon joining tonight. Love you, sweetheart. I see you saying the cats are killing it right now. Brian Nicholas joining us. Talking about his nephew Damon Nicholas cheering him on, saying nice pass. My good buddy Joshua Harris back in Central Texas chiming in. Good to hear from you, Joshua. Also, once again, Brian Nicholas saying let's go cats number 10. Jonathan Knobloch, my good buddy. From the H-Town, cheering on the Bearcats. Dave Richardson, he's in the house tonight, baby. Cheering him on. And also, my good friend, also George Cox joining us. George, I miss you, buddy. Good to hear from you. As we get back into action here, Sam Houston has it on the right side. It is Tristan Epe trying to swing this one down. A little kickball down there to Avery. He was looking for Kean Scroggins on that left baseline. The ball goes out. 20 seconds on that shot clock. Again, Bearcats with a chance here to break their largest lead, currently at 15. That's been the max here so far tonight. Dante Powers will inbound in front of the Aggie bench on that right side. A little give and go back over to Ray. Now JV on May has it. JV on May to Ray, left wing to Ipe. Ipe to Dante Powers at the top. Powers, right-handed pass back over to Ray. Down to seven on the clock. Powers almost lost the handle. He's got to look inside here. Step back, finds Jaden Ray. Ray floats this one left side. Good. Oh, you have got to be kidding me, Jaden Ray. A force here tonight. He's only got four points, but man, he has been causing distractions here for this Aggie team. 30 to 13, 535 to go in the first half. Bearcats up front. As lock has it on the left baseline, Scroggins guarding him. The pass goes back, give and go from McCants. Now to Pryor, and now to the right wing. Ball in the hands of Avery. Avery, down to five on the clock. Now Pryor has it at the top of the three. Finds McCants, he's been hot, left wing. This one no good at the buzzer. Javion May, he had the separation and got the rebound. Great box out there by Javion May against Teddy Allen. And here come the Bearcats. It is Jaden Ray standing on the H of the SH logo, moving from left to right to the right wing. He'll find Ipe now left wing. Couple of dribbles, spinning through defenders. Ipe holding on to it. Here's Powers from downtown. Yes! Oh, Dante Powers! The Bearcats! are hot, 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 baby. 33 to 13. It is a 20 point dismantling right now by Sam Houston with 4.51 to go here in the first half of play. We'll step aside for 30 seconds. We'll be back from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. 33-13 coming out of the Aggie timeout. Bearcats by 24-51 to go on that Miller time game clock. Here in the first half, the Bearcats defense has held New Mexico State to only 21%. It is a team that normally shoots 48. And this is almost deja vu going back to Saturday for the Cats as their defense was so strong against the Lumberjacks. Here come the Aggies moving from right to left. Now it's Hershon Cotton who checked in moments ago. Up top, McCants finds Cotton back left wing. Jaden Ray guarding him, high screen Cotton. Cotton still with it, McCants has it. Floating one, left side, no good. Kean Scroggins with the blocking foul. And Scroggins is so good. I talked about it on a podcast with our good friend Kyle McDonald on the Whack Hoops Digest. Kean Scroggins is so good at drawing charges, but this time a foul called against Kean. It's his first personal and the seventh team foul by the Bearcats. And uh, luckily there for McCants, he got up uh, pretty gingerly as he went down hard. His teammates went over there to take a look at him. Allen was down there with him on the left baseline. And he's kind of holding on to his right hand down there. So he was trying to force the shot to go into. Scroggins was down there trying to draw the charge. And now free throws coming up here for McCants. He is a 64% free throw shooter. He'll take him here on the left side, bends his knees, right-handed free throw, no good. First one missed. And he's shooting with that hand that he was holding. 
And so you know that's got to be playing into it. He's grimacing down there, too. Whatever happened to his hand, he's not feeling good. They're going to sub him out, I believe. Tillman is set to check in. Here's second free throw, no good. Box out here, and the rebound over to Dante Powers. Jaden Ray has it now. Crossing the paw at the SH logo at center court. 33-13, Bearcats leading. 4-16 to go here in the first half. Ray over to Javion May, left wing. May trying to slice his way inside near the left baseline. Scroggins floats one up. Shot's not there, but he'll have two free throws coming up. Great ball movement there by the Bearcats. Javion May was down there. Scroggins was sliding his way inside. And a foul called there on Uat Alok. That is his first personal, only the fourth team foul by New Mexico State. Kian Scroggins now at the line here on the right side. A 67% free throw shooter. Buries the first one. Well, we talked about the Bearcats have got to shoot well against this New Mexico State team. They also have to hit free throws. They've done that so far. Dante Powers, Jaden Ray will head over to the bench. And checking back in is Demarcus Lampley and Javon Grant. One more free throw opportunity coming up here for Scroggins. On its way off the front, no good. And Allen down there pulls it down. 34-13 Bearcats leading by 21 with 3.59 to go in the first half. It's over to Allen here on the left wing. May guarding him, Allen left baseline. Flings it over, wide open Tillman for three, yes. He was open down there on that left wing. Bearcats lost track of him. And that'll end the 9-0 run by Sam Houston. They've made three of their last three shots, though, leading 34-16, 3.39 to go on the Miller time game clock here in the first half of play. Grant has it near the right wing, retracts his dribble, backs up. Epe trying to set up post down there on the right baseline. Just outside the paint, now inside, flip, dip. Oh, baby, bring out the guacamole. We're having a flip and dip here tonight for the Bearcats. Here's Tillman quickly back, double team, feeding down low to a lock, turnaround jumper, bounces, no good. Epe rips it down. Javon Grant has it in the backcourt. He'll slow things up. Sam Houston, 36 to 16, three minutes to go here in the first. Grant on the right side, guarded by Cotton. Left wing now, flips it down to Epe. Left baseline, trying to shake his way inside, and a charge. Tillman took it. Epe a little too aggressive down there. And Tristan Epe will pick up his first personal and the eighth team foul by the Bearcats. That will take us to a media timeout. We'll be back in 90 seconds. Bearcats in control, 36 to 16 from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. Our Tech Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Our Tech Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Out of the break, we're back here at Johnson Coliseum in beautiful Huntsville, Texas, on the campus of Sam Houston State University. The Bearcats leading the New Mexico State University Aggies 36 to 16. It's a Aggies team that is 15 and 2 this season and undefeated 4 0 in whack play, but facing a Bearcat team that is hungry for another win and trying to prove to the disbelievers that they belong among the top in the whack. 
Mexico State will bring it into the front court here. It is into the hands of Pryor. Pryor bounced down Allen from the paint. He'll kick it over to Henry, right wing three. Bearcats not able to get the rebound. Oh, Scroggins has it. Scroggins got the rebound. Man, this Bearcat team is taking care of business on the boards as well so far here in this one. Sam Houston back with it on that right side. It is Jaden Ray guarded up top here by Allen. Well, actually, it was Pryor. Ray over the left wing. Bounce down low. Epe on the left baseline. Ten on the shot clock. He'll rotate left wing. Up over to Demarcus Lampley. Puts it on the court with the right hand. As he'll take a three from the right wing. This one rattled in and out. It was almost there. And now a reach-in foul here on Kean Scrogg. Scroggins his second personal. Ninth team foul and a one and one coming up here for the Aggies. They are in the bonus. Our good friend David Brady joining us. Appreciate you, David. He is on the LinkedIn stream tonight. David, the public address announcer voice of the Houston Texans. David, appreciate you. As always, always good to see you down in the Battle of Piney Woods as well. 36-16, Allen here shooting the free throws for New Mexico State. He is the best free throw shooter on the team at 89%, 65 of 73 this season. So Teddy Buckets Allen, the six foot six junior guard here on the left side. He'll take a deep breath, shrugs his shoulders, wipes the sweat off of his left cheek, and the front end, no good. And Allen can't save it. So your best free throw shooter on the team, Allen misses it. And it was on the front end, so the Bearcats will get it back here with two minutes straight up to go here in the first half. Inbound May over to Jaden Ray. Ray at the top of the three on the right side. Methodically waiting for his teammates to set a play. Now to the left wing, over to Ipe, right wing. Slings it back down, left wing, Ray. Ten on the clock here for Ray. Left baseline trying to drive in. Still have some time. Ray uses his left hand to protect himself as he slipped. Now JV on May from the right wing and a charge here. Boy, the Bearcats committing a lot of charges in this ball game. That foul is on JV on May, his second personal and the 10th team foul by the Bearcats. William Hebner also joining in on our In the Booth feed saying eat him up. Appreciate you, William. And our good buddy Brian Nicholas. He was in the house last Saturday. Talking about being here at Johnson Coliseum, a beautiful atmosphere. JV on May will head back over to the bench. He'll get a standing ovation and high fives on his right hand as Dante Powers will check back in. It is Powers, Lampley, Ray, Epe, and Kurwowski who's back on the court for Sam Houston. Allen, Pryor, McAdams, McCants, rather, Rice and McNair Jr. for the Aggies. Here's a three straight away on the left side. That shot, dead duck, Tillman couldn't find it. As it just took a... Hard stop there on the left rim, finally bounced down. I always call those the dead duck shots. Jaden Ray has it on the right side. He'll run over to the official there on that sideline just in front of the Aggie bench. Eric Anderson, the official, and call a timeout. We'll take it with him for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment. Bearcats leading by 20 still, 36-16. 1.09 to go on the Miller Time game clock. From Ben Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Sam Houston still hot from the field, 65%, 13 of 20, and they lead the Aggies of New Mexico State University, 36 to 13, 109 to go on that Miller time game clock here in the first half. Inbound pass from Powers on the right side over to Jaden Ray. One minute now, down to 10 on the shot clock. Ray bounce over to Epe, throw it up, and the shot good by Cooper Krawowski. Oh, baby, I love Kowalski being down there at seven foot two, the tallest man on the court. And a nice feed down there in the assist by Epe. 38-16, 45 seconds to go, Bearcats. Back on the defensive side is Allen, trying to work one here on Powers from the left elbow. This one almost gets poked away, but held on by Pryor on the left wing. Now Allen driving in from the left baseline, spinning around, floats this one up, and good. Nice separation there, and Allen, after his 41-point performance on Saturday, that's his first points of this ball game. And he is also the leading scorer, averages 19. The Bearcats have shut him down. He's only one of four. 
Sam Houston, an opportunity here for the last shot. It's into the hands of Jaden Ray, who has got very comfortable with taking these shots at the buzzer. Ray has it. He's double teamed down there, though, as Lampley now from the left wing finds Ipe. He'll fire it from three. This one's not there. And the Bearcats, though, with a very comfortable 38-18 lead at the first half of play, taking care of business, shooting 64%, 25 for New Mexico State. We'll step aside. We'll be back in a moment. Actually, we'll go over to Carlos Zimmerman for the halftime show. We'll be back after that. Stay with us, friends. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. Sam Houston Athletics would like to thank the following partners. Sam Houston Alumni Association, Art Tech Signs and Lighting, Aspen Heights, Barefoot Campus Outfitters, Bill Thick Ford, and Chicken Express. Thank you for supporting your Bearcats. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. And a pleasant good evening, Bearcat fans everywhere. Welcome to the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show back here at the flagship 101.7 KSAM FM. I am your halftime host, Mr. Carlos Zimmerman, and boy, oh boy, we've got a good one just down the street at Johnson Coliseum. The Bearcats, Sam Houston, 10-9 and nine overall, 5-1 and one in the WAC, and they have got the number one team in the Western Athletic Conference on their heels right now in New Mexico State. They lead it here at the break, 30 30- Eight to eighteen, an incredible start to this game. We've got to see if the Bearcats can hang on and continue their good fortune. Looking back at that first half, going up into the first media timeout, you couldn't have asked for a better start. If you're the Bearcats, a pair of threes from Savion Flag and a couple extra buckets from Demarcus Lampley and Tristan Ipe gave the Bearcats a ten to two lead, coming right out of the gate. Some early fouls for the Bearcats also got them up to three team fouls up to that point, so that's something we we're going to have to keep an eye on for the rest of this one. So that was the score really going out of the fir- coming into the first media and coming out of it. Towards the second media timeout, a couple careless turnovers really on both sides of the ball between the two timeouts. The big highlight, however, for Sam Houston, Tristan Ipe, rebounding machine, four rebounds in the first ten minutes of that first half. We'll go over stats here momentarily to see where he ended up at. Scoring droughts for both teams, however, between the under-16 and under-12 media timeouts. So the shots weren't really falling for both sides. But the one thing for New Mexico State to give them credit on, very disciplined in that first 10 minutes or so, they did not commit their first foul until the 12-20 mark there in that first half. In the third, coming into the third media timeout and out of it, foul trouble continued for Sam Houston in that first half with the bonus looming in the first 10 minutes for NMSU. But as the game progressed, a huge dunk, an alley-oop dunk at that for Kuba Karwowski and a big three from DP Dante Powers made it 18-5 to at one point. And folks, I know it's cold out there right now if you're out here in Huntsville. Really, it's cold all over the state and quite across the uh, southern part of the United States. It's rain in threes in Huntsville tonight. Sam Houston at that point was 5 of 9 from 3, 56%. New Mexico State, on the other hand, looking very flat, folks. Just to, just to make it clear, very flat. And going into the under 8, Sam Houston ended up being 6 of 10 from 3, 60% from 3. And then through the rest of that first half, the raining of threes just continued. 
Sam Houston just shutting down the Aggies shooting-wise. 21% shooting for the New Mexico State Aggies at the four-minute mark. And this is one of the best teams in the country, ladies and gentlemen. One of the best in the country. A lot of talk about them potentially, even if they got a couple wins this weekend, they have Stephen F. Austin coming up on Saturday. They had a chance to be getting some votes in the AP Top 25. If things stand where they are right now, that idea is out the window. Tristan Ipe continuing to rebound like crazy. Had another big rebound with 3.30 to go. Javion May also making his presence known as well. And then to end the half, 38-18. to 18, Sam Houston, that is where we stand right now in Huntsville. Time to take a look at your stats so far. We'll take a look at your Bearcats first. Savion Flag, he's got six points. He's been riding the bench a little bit in this first half, but he's got six points from his two threes earlier on. Demarcus Lampley, he's got five, two of three from the field. Tristan Ipe, he's two of four. He's got five big rebounds and three assists. Jaden Ray, he's also got four points with a pair of rebounds and three assists as well. Javon Grant, he was able to get in the game, get a big three. Leading right now for Sam Houston is Dante Powers with three triples, and he is three of four from three-point land. Keen Scroggins has one. Kuba carwasti has got six. Javion May and Damon Nicholas Jr., the other two on the floor that have come in for the Bearcats. They are the only ones without points. Taking a look at the team stats so far, Sam Houston shooting lights out. 64% from the field. 14 of 22. 7 of 13 from 3. That's 54% from 3-point land. 75% at the charity stripe. 3 of 4. On the other side for New Mexico State, shooting dismally. Dismally is the right word there. 25% from the field. They're 6 of 24. 25% from three-point land. They're 3 of 12. And then 43% at the free throw line. Six turnovers for the Aggies. Five for Sam Houston. Sam Houston has not allowed a single point off of those turnovers. New Mexico State has allowed a point apiece for each of those turnovers. 15-14 on the rebounding count. Sam Houston with that 15. Five offensive rebounds for New Mexico State. None for the Bearcats. Only one block for Sam Houston, three steals as well, none for either for New Mexico State. And that'll end it here on our first segment here of the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. When we come back, we'll go over keys to the second half as well as take a look at the college basketball scoreboard. So stay with us from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Wiesner of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past year. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring, and may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Wiesner of Huntsville. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. 
Join the Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. For only $35 a year, your membership helps provide scholarship assistance, plus networking, a travel program, discounts on home and auto insurance, car rentals, event tickets, and much more. Connect with your Bearcat pride and spirit by joining the Alumni Association. Go online, alumni.shsu.edu. As a member, you can be a part of something bigger. The Sam Houston State University Alumni Association. Join today. And welcome back here on the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. I am Carlos Zimmerman, your halftime host. We'll get you back out to Rob for the second half here momentarily. Real quick here, here's your keys to the second half for the Bearcats. Got to keep shooting well. Whatever it is, it's working. Don't get away from that and just make, make sure you're taking good shots, not jacking anything up up there. That it's working right now. You're shooting 64%, so you're something's working right now if you're the Bearcats. Limit the fouls in this second half. You got New Mexico State quickly into the bonus, and they are a really good free throw shooting team. So you got to limit the fouls in this second half. Take the charges. They're going to go your way at some point. There was a lot of charges called against Sam Houston on that end uh, when they are on the offensive side and then not much so much on the defensive side. But on the defensive side, they'll come your way eventually. Keep limiting Teddy Allen, the leading scorer for New Mexico State. He's only got two points. He's one of four from the field and five rebounds. That is it for one of the top scorers in the Western Athletic Conference. And the big key here, if you get Savion Flack going, who has been in double digits in points every single game this year, you could be very well be en route to 6-1 and one in the WAC and taking down the number one team in the Western Athletic Conference. Before we send it back over to Johnson Coliseum, let's take a look at the college basketball scoreboard. Your Bearcats, of course, on top 38-18 to 18 over the Aggies in New Mexico State. Also at the break right now, our friends up to the Northeast. I say friends lightly because Stephen F. Austin is taking on Grand Canyon 32-31. to 31. They are at the break as well. Up in Abilene, Seattle is on the road taking on the Wildcats. They are up 11-6 right now are the Red Hawks. Down, oh, or actually I should say, over in Utah, UTRGV is up up on top of Utah Valley, 18-13. to 13. Cal Baptist is taking on Tarleton up in Stephenville tonight. They are leading this one, are the Lancers, 20-13. to 13. Lamar and Dixie State, they tip off later tonight at 8 p.m. over in St. George, Utah. Real quick on the top 25, we've got a battle in the Hoosier State. Indiana is up on the number four team in the country, Purdue, 39-34. They just got underway in the second half. USC and Colorado are notched at 25 apiece in Colorado at the break. Providence knocked off Georgetown earlier today, 83-75. to UConn and Butler, they tip off a little bit at 8 p.m. San Francisco is against the number one team, Gonzaga. Number three, Arizona is taking on Stanford on the road, and then number nine, UCLA, is on the road in Utah. That's your college basketball scoreboard, and that wraps up the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. When we come back, we'll send it back out to Rob Hip out at Johnson Coliseum for the second half. Hope the Bearcats can hang on and get a big one here tonight. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas for over 20 years. They do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Season tickets are on sale for 2021-22 basketball season. Season tickets start as low as $99. One price gets you both men's and women's Bearcat basketball. Call 936-294-1729 or go online at gobearcats.com slash tickets to secure your seat today. This has been the Bearcat Basketball Halftime Show. We'll be right back with the second half of tonight's game on the Bearcat Sports Network and 101.7 KSAM. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. 
And from us at Weezer of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past year. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring. And may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Weezer of Huntsville. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. All right, friends, welcome back. Carlos Zimmerman there at the great halftime show from our flagship. Thanks for joining us on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network from Van Wagner, 38-18. You heard Carlos talking about the Bearcats blistering 64% from the field. One thing to keep an eye on though, and this is what happened against Sam Houston. They had a solid first half against SFA in that previous matchup where they were outscored Stephen F. Austin 25 to 12. They shot 37% in the first half in that ball game, only 28% in the second half. A lot better job tonight though. But the same thing for New Mexico State versus Abilene Christian. They only shot 39% in the first half. They came back hot in the second half of that ball game on Saturday night, shooting 63%. So the key, as Carlos said, the Bearcats are just going to have to hold on and continue to shoot well. That has been the dominating factor so far in this ball game. Sam Houston out of the gate, and here we go. Second half underway. Bearcats now moving from right to left. Depay has it here near the left wing over to Savion Flag from that left wing. He'll jack up a three. This shot no good. Epey not able to crowd the offensive rebound, but a jump ball. Possession arrow will go to the Aggies. Good job by Javion May getting down there for Sam Houston. Oh, no. Wow, they're going to call a foul actually on Javion May. That's tough. So right out of the gate is third personal, the first team foul of this second half. I thought for a moment maybe May got down there on a jump ball. They say no, a foul. 38-18, Bearcats by 20. Again, they shot blistering 64% from the field in that first half of play. Only 25% here in the first half for the Aggies. Aggies will have it moving from left to right now. Pryor has it guarded by Jaden Ray. Left-handed dribble over to the left wing. Ray, good defense here. Goes up top over to McCants. McCants, a couple of right-handed dribble, dropped this one off over to Rice. Now the left wing around the world. We go to Allen. Teddy Allen has it on the left wing. He takes a three. This one on the way. No good. And McCants trying to save it. And he did not. And Epe was down there. And we got a whistle and a foul here. It's going to go against the Aggies. So the Aggies committing a foul here. It is on Will McNair Jr., his second personal, and the first team foul by New Mexico State here in the second half. 19-15 to go on the Miller time game clock here. In this second half of play, Sam Houston up front on their home court tonight here in Huntsville, Texas. It's Jaden Ray, chest pass over to J.D. on May, left wing up top, Ipe. Ipe, he'll fire this one over to Ray on the right wing. Bounce pass down low, turn around jumper. Savion flag from the Jaden Ray assist. And the Bearcats with their first buckets of this second half. Leading 40 to 18. As the Aggies have it on the right wing, it's Rice driving in, turn around jumper, rattles in and out. And the rebound, Javion May. Call him yellow sneakers down there as he hauls it in, snuck his way and ripped that one out of the air. Jaden Ray has it here. Just to the left of the SH logo at center court. Now the pass over, JB on May, left wing. Flings this one down low to flag. Flag, zip, dip, it's good. Oh, baby, he found Demarcus Lampley. I said earlier, bring out the guacamole. Now let's fire up the queso, baby. Savion flag with the assist over to Lampley. Demarcus Lampley now with seven points. Been a well-rounded effort by the Bearcats so far in this ball game. 42-18, 18 minutes to go. Bearcats leading here in the final frame. Pass goes down low to McNair Jr. Trapped on the left baseline, May. Holding up his hands, trying to fire this one. It goes over right wing prior from downtown. No, rebound Jaden Ray. Bearcats trying to extend it even more here. They got their largest lead right now of 24. Jaden Ray into the front court. He's all smiles as he's dead center. Uses his left hand to direct Lampley over to the right baseline. 
Lampley still zigzagging his way down there. Bounce pass from Epe to flag. Double team Epe open. Left side. No good. He's got two free throws coming up, though, as the foul was there. I believe it's going to go on Teddy Allen. So Teddy Allen will pick up his first personal, the second team foul. Bearcats so far tonight. From that free throw line, they are three of four. So here is Ipe on the left side, a couple of dribbles, bends his knees, left-handed free throw, good, Tristan Ipe. As Dante Powers will check back into the game for Javion May. Friends, I talk so much about how we're just limited by what's between our two ears, and I'm talking about your brain, and this Bearcat team is starting to believe. Ipe will take a couple of deep breaths, left-handed dribbles, bends his knees, the free throw, good as well. Tristan Ipe makes both of them. This is a young man that is only a 54% free throw shooter, but critical ones there, and he nails both. 44-18, Bearcats up front, 17-20 to go. Here is Pryor, back up top to McCants, left wing, ball give and go down low, Rice, he'll float this one up, that shot's no good, gets the rebound, it's actually McNair Jr., and the second attempt is good. And we got a timeout here. And it'll probably stretch to a media timeout, and it will. The timeout called by the Aggies. We'll take it with them for 90 seconds. 44-20, Sam Houston leading. We'll be back in 90 seconds from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Wiesner of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past year. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring and may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Wiesner of Huntsville. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Bearcats shooting two of three right out of the gate here in the second half as we are three minutes or so into it. And Sam Houston men's basketball leading the New Mexico State University Aggies 44 to 20. Sam Houston led by as many as 26 just a few moments ago, 44 to 18. Been very impressed. No Bearcat, by the way, in double digits yet, but everyone that has touched the ball except Nicholas Jr. has scored. That is great district. Well, I'll take that back. Javion May has not scored either, but he has been a defensive force. That is still great ball distribution. Bearcats have led the entire way, shooting 64% overall, 16 of 25. They are 7 of 14 from the field, 5 of 6 from the charity stripe. They've only turned it over five times, and they have out-rebounded New Mexico State, one of the top rebounding teams in the country, 18 to 16. Sam Houston will inbound here as... Savion Flag will fire it in over to Dante Powers. A little bit of backcourt press here by the Aggies now. They'll slowly retreat. Jaden Ray has it into the front court. For a moment there, my eyes got mixed up with the volleyball line out there on the court. Jaden Ray has it. Over to Savion Flag. Left wing three. This one off the front of the rim. No good. Rebound over to McNair Jr. as he was able to box out Ipe. On the far side from left to right, here come the Aggies. Pryor. Little give and go action, ball back around over to Teddy Allen now on the right wing. As he tries to shake through Powers, I think he traveled there, no call. Here's a left corner three on the way, this one no good, as it was fired up by Tillman, rebound here by the Bearcats. Here comes Lampley over to Flag, right wing way up high, late whistle and a foul. Tillman was down there on it, good ball movement. It is on Tillman, his first personal, the third team foul by the Aggies here in the second half. Now is Demarcus Lampley. With a nice assist attempt over to Savion Flag. So Flag at the line here, the Texas A&M graduate transfer. 
averages 20 points a game. Also averages 33 minutes a game. He is 44% though from the free throw line. So big free throws here coming up for Flag. He'll take a deep breath. Right-handed free throw, no good. Get one more coming up here. Checking in is Clayton Henry, the six-foot-four senior guard for the Aggies, and over the bench is Sir Jabari Rice, six-foot-four junior guard. So on the court for the Bearcats, Lampley and Epe down in the keys. Here's Flag, second free throw attempt. This one good. Also out there, Jaden Ray and Marcus Lampley. Bearcats leading here 45-20, 16-27 to go on the Miller Time game clock here in the second half. The Aggies will bring it into the front court on the far side. Henry directing traffic. Lampley guarding him. Pump fakes now past McNair at the top. Right-handed pass over to Tillman. Tillman floats it up. It's turned over. Bearcats have numbers. Two on one. Lampley, he'll take a three. Right wing. It's not there. Here's Powers. He has the rebound down on the left baseline. Fires this one. Ipe slides, slides. Oh, baby! He slammed it home and posterized the Aggies. Oh my goodness, what a play by Tristan Epe! And now we've got a whistle and a foul down here. It's on Dante Powers, his first personal, the second team foul. Oh baby, these Bearcats are on fire play. The hot here tonight against a very tough New Mexico State Aggie team. Again, 47 to 20, 15, 52 to go. We've got a media timeout down on uh, the court. But I'll say let's head over to Carlos right now in the studio for a quick college scoreboard update. Carlos. Thank you, Rob. Back here inside the flagship K Sam Studios. Quick scoreboard update. Grand Canyon down to Stephen F. Austin right now, 40 to 32 up in Nacogdoches. Seattle is on top of Abilene Christian, 21-18 with a few ticks left in the first. UTRGV on top of Utah Valley 27-24 with 3.05 left in the first and Cal Baptist is on top of Tarleton 32-22 to with four minutes left to go in the first. Let's get you back out to Johnson Coliseum with Rob Hip. Rob? Carlos, thank you my friend. 47-20 again. Sam Houston in the driver's seat here. 15-52 to go and a lot of good friends joining us into the booth tonight. Jonathan Knobloch, we appreciate you. By the way, you may be listening here in the Huntsville, Texas area in Walker County and on our flagship here in East Texas, but I got to tell you, we also stream these games online uh, with an in the booth video presentation. You can find those all over social media. You can find it on YouTube. You can find it on the KSAM Facebook page, the KSAM Sports Facebook page. So it's an opportunity for you to be able to engage with us in here. Let us know where you're listening from. We always want you to fill as part of our broadcast, of course. And there may be even a New Mexico State fans here tonight that are joining us in the booth. And we want to welcome you and invite you into the broadcast as well. 47-20, 15-52 to go as we come out of the timeout here in just a few moments. Sammy the Bearcat getting the crowd fired up. Friends, i got to tell you, as we had a moment, you didn't hear it uh, on this radio broadcast or in the booth, but a little bit earlier I had a chance to talk with my good friend, Mr. Greg Smith, who has been here in Huntsville a long time, and he is encouraging folks to come out just as I am. You have got to get out here to Johnson Coliseum. And, of course, on Saturday, it's going to be an even bigger game going up against the top ranked in the WAC as we face Grand Canyon at 2 p.m. You can get your tickets online at GoBearCats.com. This game made possible in part by our good friends at HEB. No store does more than my HEB. We'll whistle back into action here as Henry setting up the offense here. He will inbound in front of his own bench. On the right side, he'll throw it in the backcourt on the left side to Pryor, guarded by Ray Pryor. Right-handed triple, Ray guarding him over the right wing, it's Henry. Henry, chest pass goes up top to Tillman. Tillman fires this one over to Pryor, left wing, now bounce down low, McCants. McCants trying to back down, actually it's not McCants, it's Allen, he'll fire a three left wing. This one bounces around, no good, and the rebound high into the air. Oh baby, Jaden Ray climbed the ladder over everybody and hauled in the rebound. Here's Savion Flag, left wing, thought about a three, found Ipe. Oh my goodness, come on. Man, it's an offensive foul against Tristan Ipe. It's a charge down there on Ipe is what it was. Man, that's tough on Tristan Ipe. Gonna say flop it like it's hot down there. 47-20. New Mexico trailing here, New Mexico State. On the right wing, it is Pryor. Pryor, thought about going over the head, now he'll drop this one off over to Cotton, who checked back in moments ago. Actually, it's not Cotton, I beg your pardon, it's a lot. 
Pollock goes right baseline to Tillman. Tillman guarded by Flagg. From the free throw line, steps up front near the right elbow. Six seconds on the shot clock. Ball goes back up top to Henry. Henry trapped down there on the left wing. Down to two. He's got to fire this one. It's on its way at the buzzer. No good. And Epe hauls in the rebound. He was down there with Dante Powers in what I call the coffin corner of the court on that baseline in front of the Aggies bench. And here's Jaden Ray on the front side now. Brings it into the front court. Over to Lampley, right wing, down low, Ipe. Ipe guarded by Alok, back up top, Savion Flag. He'll fire a three, straight away, good! Savion Flag's in double digits, and the Bearcats leading by 30 points, 50 to 20, 14, 22 to go, here on the Miller Time game clock. Oh, mama, what a game! Feeding inside is Pryor, he'll throw this one up before the shot goes up. We'll see if they call it in the act of shooting. They may have, it's a foul against Sam Houston. It's on Jaden Ray. That is his second personal and the third team foul by, no call it, no, the fourth team foul now by Sam Houston. That was in the act of shooting. And so Nate Pryor here to shoot free throws. Two of them coming up for the junior guard. A 20% free throw shoot, only one of five this season. He's only played in nine games, started three. Here's a right-handed free throw, short, no good. Javon Grant checking in for Jaden Ray. Coach Hooten, man, does such a good job with these kiddos. I don't think Coach Hooten gets enough credit for what he does with these kids. I've gotten to know Coach Hooten over the last three years and the staff that he has assembled and put together. You talk about the culture of this entire university and the athletic program and trickling with the basketball program and now in full four. Second free throw rattles in good for Pryor, so he splits the pair. It's 50 to 21, Bearcats were on a 6-0 run before that. And the Aggies had not scored in three minutes. They'll show some backcourt pressure, Savion Flag fires it over to Grant. Grant in the front court now on the near side, moves from right to left. Right-handed dribble, Grant. Crosses over to his left hand, now back to the right hand, stepping up Pryor, standing on the edge of the SH logo at center court. This one, a pass over from the chest to Dante Powers. Right-handed now, zings it over to Flag, and now Flag to the right wing, back to Grant. Seven on the shot clock. Grant here, got to move quickly, down to four. Epe's got to see it, down to two. He'll take a baseline jumper, it's almost there. Powers with the offensive rebound. Here's Savion Flag, right wing three. It won't fall, another rebound here for Epe. Back to Flag. here's Powers for three. Bam! It's Dante Powers from downtown! The offensive rebounds leading to points for the Bearcats. 53-21, 13-25 to go on the Miller Time game clock here in Huntsville. Now it's Tillman, right baseline, floater good and one. Savion Flag may have been charged with that one as he reached in. It is on Savion Flag. it's his third personal and the fifth team foul. 53-23, Bearcats in the driver's seat, keeping their foot on the gas with 13-18 to go here on that Miller Time game clock. It is Donnie Tillman with an and one opportunity. A 68% free throw shooter, Tillman. Only seven points tonight after putting up a good one previously. Here's the free throw and that one is good for Tillman. Trying to look at those numbers actually for Tillman in the previous game versus Abilene Christian. I believe he only had six points in that ball game. So Tillman makes the free throw, averages seven a game, so he's close to his average. Here's Javon Grant, left wing, thought about a three, picks it up. Guarded here by Allen, back up top, all the way near the half court line is Dante Powers. He'll take his left hand, touch it to his forehead, directing traffic, Powers has it. Down to seven on the shot clock, over to Lampley, here's flag, corner three, yes, why not baby? Raise the flag, 56-24, Sam Houston with 12.46 to go. Here in the second half, it's over to Pryor. Pryor swings this one over his right shoulder down to Tillman. Tillman almost loses the handle. He traveled, man. Oh, baby. He traveled on that one, put the cart in front of the horse, and that's a travel. Turnover back to the Bearcats. As Clayton Henry will head over to the bench. And checking in for him, LeVar Williams, the six foot one sophomore guard. He's played in 14 games this season, hasn't started any of them, averages three points a game. Here's Javon Grant into the front court here for the Bearcats from right to left, bounce down low, Savion Flag. Flag from the left baseline jumper, yes! Oh, Savion Flag's on fire! 
Baker saying, give me the ball again, baby. 58-24, Bearcats. 12.09 to go here in the game. Allen has it near the top of the three. Left-handed dribble. Fires one from the key and a good assist down low as that pass over to Pryor and he laid it up good off the left side. 58-26, under 12 to go on that Miller time game clock. Sam Houston into the front court, 58-26 lead. Javon Grant now has it here on the left side. Working a left-handed dribble. It's Javon Grant to the left wing. Down low, Savion flag. Fire all the way over Lampley for three. This one, yes! Turn on the lights, baby! The party's almost over! 61-26, Bearcats shooting 11 of 21 from downtown. Here's a three back the other way. It's no good, and this one goes out of bounds. And they say that it is off of Sam Houston. It's all smiles tonight here in Johnson Coliseum. The Bearcats dominating 61 to 26 with 11.22 to go. We'll step aside, take 90 seconds on a media timeout from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. For any of your shipping, faxing, copying, or notarizing needs, get on down to Pack and Ship. Big or small, they ship it all. Conveniently located right off 45 on Highway 30 next to Hobby Lobby. At Pack and Ship, there are no lines. They have a kind, experienced staff ready to help you. Pack and Ship, happily serving all residents of Walker County and the surrounding areas. Pack and Ship. Hey y'all, Josh Ward here for Bill Fick Ford in Huntsville. If you want a real truck that looks good and that can pull any load, do what I did. Decide the options you want and go see No Bull Bill. You'll spec out your order and agree on pricing and then leave the rest up to Bill Fick Ford. You trust them to build the Ford truck of your dreams and they'll trust you to buy it. No deposit required and you still get a No Bull deal. It's buying made easy. Bill Fick Ford, your No Bull headquarters. Check them out online, BillFickFordHuntsville.com. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. I got it, friends. It's been all Bearcats here in this ball game. They have led the entire way. 11:22 to go in the middle of time. Game clock over second in the Western Athletic Conference. The 15-2, 4-0 in whack play. New Mexico State Aggies again trailing 61 to 26. This Bearcat team is starting to believe in themselves as they are 5-1 in conference play. Many of the naysayers say, well, they haven't played anybody yet. Well, we played Abilene Christian. And that was a spark here for this Bearcat team. I've been traveling with them to many of the away games and I'm starting to see their culture come together. These guys are starting to believe in one another. They're starting to have fun. And sometimes it takes a while for things to get going, especially when you've got a lot of new faces. Savion Flagg has been a leader on this team. 17 tonight, it is his 20th consecutive game. Every game is a Bearcat, he has scored in double digits. Behind him, Dante Powers, who's had a breakthrough game with 12, and Demarcus Lampley with 10. We talk about the support cast needing to be built, and it's starting to around Savion Flag. Back in action here, 11.15 to go. The Aggies have it trailing 61-26. On the right side, McKinney Jr. Bounce pass goes down low to a lock. He'll float this one up, and a foul here called against the Cats. Ipe was down there, and it is on Tristan Ipe. It's his third personal and the 16 foul by the Bearcats. Kuba Krawowski getting set to check back in. He towers over everyone, especially Coach Hooten. He was looking down to Coach Hooten. Hooten was looking up to him as he was checking in here in just a few moments. Here's a first attempt on the way. This shot is good by Uat Alai. A 71% free throw shooter makes the first one. Tristan Ipe. Coach Hooten going to take him out for a little bit. He'll head back to the bench and checking in for him, as I mentioned earlier, Kuba Krawowski. One more free throw attempt here for a lock. Made the first one, second one good as well. It's 61-28, Bearcats, 11.04 to go. The Aggies trying to trap the Cats in the backcourt flag. Back there, fires up front over to Dante Powers. Powers now in the front court. Yes, he'll go back to Javon Grant. Grant directing his team. He's got a lot of weight on his shoulders now. He's only the freshman out there playing in a big game here for the Bearcats here tonight. Grant has it out there. 
Near the near side on the left, taking a few dribbles, down to five on the clock. Grant, he'll find Savion Flag. Here's a three, this one's good. Oh, mama! Savion Flag saying, raise the roof, baby! 64, 28, Flag, 20 points. Bearcat steal it, here's Grant. Swoop, shot not there. He tried to go under from the right back to the left, and now the Aggies back to the right side. It's Mike Peak, the sophomore, checking in earlier. Peak will go back to McKinney Jr. Now over the right wing, Allen. I talked to the SID for New Mexico, and there's an offensive foul called against the Aggies. No, it's on Powers. Wait a minute. The officials are talking it up. Maybe on Kuba Kowalski. It is. So Kuba Kowalski charged with his first personal. That's the 17 foul, so one and one coming up. The Aggies will be in the bonus the rest of the way. 10.08 to go, trailing 64-28. It's their largest lead for Sam Houston at 36. They are shooting 62% and have held the Aggies to only 26 from the field. 9 of 35 for a team talking about New Mexico State from the field that normally shoots 47.5%. So here is a lock at the line. He made two earlier. Front end of a one and one. This one no good and will not get in it. Boy, Kowalski is being held down there. You have got to be kidding me. And now finally the foul comes. Man, Kowalski is hot as he should be. He's not hot with the officials, but you can see it on his face. That's on LeVar Williams, his first personal. And the fourth team foul for the Aggies. Yeah, Kowalski was saying, what do I got to do to get a foul called on me? So now we got a whistle here and maybe a little bit of warning, maybe a technical here by New Mexico State. The officials are talking this one over right now at center court. They whistled it. They're going to bring in all three officials now. And they may go back in. I'm not sure here. The officials are heading over to the scores table. 10.01 to go in the Miller time game clock. 64-28, Bearcats up front. We'll pause 10 seconds for station identification, this is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. 101.7 KSAM is KSAM Huntsville, and you're listening to the Bearcat Sports Network. So again, the Opposite end of the scores table, right in front of our TV crew. Tom Franklin on the call tonight, down there on ESPN Plus, alongside Mike Lucas. I think making his debut as the analyst. Oh my goodness, Jaden Ray on an alley oop to Savion Flag. How about that for the Bearcats? 66-28. 
Here's the Aggies, right corner three, good. Well, they wanted to respond and they did out there. It was LeVar Williams responding. 66-31, Bearcats have made six of their last seven. 9.30 to go, it is DeMarcus Lampley left wing. This one won't fall, had a good look. Lampley though, that one wouldn't drop. He's in double digits with 10 points, two of four from three point line, now make it two of five. Here are the Aggies back on the right side. Over the right wing, Avery trying to feed down low to a lock, a lock all the way across to the left wing to Mike Peake. Peake drops it off to Avery, left wing, 10 on the shot clock, back up top a lock. Now here driving in, Williams. He'll float this one over to the right wing. McKinney Jr. for three, yes. And now a little bit of rhythm here for the Aggies as they've made back-to-back -back threes. They've about had enough of this Bearcat rally. 66-34, 8.58 to go on the Miller time game clock. Bearcats back with it from right to left. It is Savion Flag down there near the left corner, all the way back up top to Powers. Now Jaden Ray. Ray has it at the top of the three, fires this one back and forth, give and go Powers. Lampley right wing, back up top Ray with five on the clock. Turn around jumper from the right elbow. That one may have had a hand on it. It's no good for Savion Flag. A 6-0 run by the Aggies over the last minute. They're trying to improve that. Left corner, thought about a three. Now Williams fires it, no good. Rebound over the back peak, and he's got it on the right wing. He thought about a three, instead drops it off over to Alok. Alok backing down Kowalski. Has that left pivot foot down over the right wing. McKinney Jr. now the ball handler. With eight on the shot clock. Off the high screen from a lock. He'll jump shot here from inside the free throw line. It's good. It's now an 8-0 run for New Mexico State. 66-36. They trailed by as many as 38 when it was 66-28 with 9.52 to go. Bearcats have got to find a way to put a shot down and keep this momentum up. Is they'll find Savion Flag right wing, up top, Jaden Ray near the half court line, standing on the S of the SH logo over to Lampley. Now back up top, Flag, right handed pass, Ray. He'll find Powers, corner three. This one no good, and the rebound of McKinney Jr. Here come the Aggies on an 8 0 run, making five of their last seven shots. Avery, wide open three, no good, rebound, Powers. Bearcats here running some time. 7.20 to go on the Miller time game clock. Sam Houston leads. 66-36. No, it's still a big advantage, but this Aggie team can score quickly. Bearcats have got to hold the clamps on them. Up top over the flag, right-handed pass to Lampley. Now back up top to Jaden Ray. Eight on the shot clock. Try to turn on the rocket. He's on the court, finds Kuba Kowalski. And Kowalski, oh man, we'll see if there's a foul there. I believe the McKinney Jr. wrapped around Jaden Ray. So the Bearcats, a nice little bailout here. And a whistle and a foul. 6.55 to go on a Miller time game clock as we have got a timeout as well. We'll take it for 30 seconds. We'll be back in a moment from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. Welcome back, friends. 6.55 to go on the Miller Time game clock. I'm Rob Hip, live from Huntsville, Texas. Thanks for joining us here tonight. Sam Houston taking care of business again in this one against a very tough and talented New Mexico State team. Again, some travel woes, though, for the Aggies I talked about earlier. For those of you that are just joining us, again, 66-36 Bearcats up here big time. 6.55 to go. But this Aggie team... They were scheduled to fly out of Las Cruces, New Mexico yesterday around 3.30. Their flight kept getting delayed. They were gonna fly into Houston. That flight kept getting delayed. They finally had a canceled flight, had to pick up one that went all the way to Dallas instead of Houston. And they finally made it there around, uh, you know, shortly before midnight. And by the time they, they had to drive from Dallas all the way down to Huntsville, and it was well after 1.30 or so in the morning, they also had some problems not getting their food last night. And so those things can play a little bit of a, a hamper on you. I was talking to somebody earlier. I said, well, it doesn't really matter because it was an evening game. I beg to differ. Whenever you've got that kind of mess up in your schedule, that can play an important role. And I think some of that is what we're seeing, but more so. I don't want to take anything away from the Bearcats. They have really been dominant here over the past few games. 
This Bearcat team is trying to prove all the naysayers wrong, and I think so far tonight they've been able to do that against the second team in the Western Athletic Conference. New Mexico State, 15-2, 4-0 in the whack, and the Bearcats, Bearcats two and so far have put up one of the biggest games of the season. Jaden Ray will inbound here, 20 on the shot clock, all the way up top, Savion flag, pump faked on a three, now driving in. He'll find it, Javion May, right corner, thought about a three, pulled it back down up top to Ray. Now the left wing, here's Jaron Cook. This one rattled in and out, May with the rebound as he flung his way inside and hauled that one down. 15 on the shot clock, Jaden Ray stands on the S of the SH logo at center court. Cooper Kowalski setting the high screen, Ray rotates over the left wing, over his right shoulder, he was trying to slide it down there and thread it to Kowalski and it was turned over and he knew it. Here come the Aggies back on the right side, still on that 8-0 run over the last three minutes. Bounce pass goes down low to a lock on the right baseline. Back up top peak, now to the left wing, driving in Avery. Avery double teamed down there, Cook is on him. Cook puts up a right hand, hand in his face, shot no good. And now the rebound by JB on May. Six minutes to go on the middle of time Bear, the game clock as the Bearcats have not scored in almost four minutes. Oh, of their last four shots. They have cooled off now to 57% after they were close to 65 in a game. Around the world we go, JB on May, left wing. Back up top, Kowalski, hand off Jaden Ray from the right elbow. This one a kickball. Kickball violation. Stays with the Bearcats. So that will stay with the Bearcats. Tristan Ipe checking back into the game for Kuba Krawowski. So on the court for the Bearcats, it is Ipe, Flag, Ray, May, and Cook. Be nice to see Jaron Cook light the stove here tonight. Sam Houston back with it here. Inbound goes to Savion Flag to May. Now back to Flag. Left wing three. This one no good off the back side of the rim. Now into the front court, here's Vershawn Cotton who checked back in. Over to Peak. now the corner, the pass goes to the right corner. In the hands here of Avery. In the right wing, thought about a three, pulled it back down, bounce pass back to Peak. Over to a look, a lock. he'll take a three, and that one's good from near the top of the three. 66-39. Bearcats, oh, of their last five, have not scored now in four minutes and 30 seconds. Got it back on the left side, flag up, pop over to Jaden Ray with the right hand to dribble. Ray swings it back over to flag. Bearcats just trying to run some clock here. Epe has it back to Ray, down low to JB on May, back to Ray near the right corner. May, right baseline, floater, this one well off the mark. And the rebound goes right into the hands here of LeVar Williams. Aggies back with it, left wing. Avery now driving left baseline, had a lane, shot no good. There may have been a hand on it. JV on May hauls it down and goes to Jaden Ray. 4.40 to go on the Miller time game clock. Bearcats up front, 66-39. Sam Houston bringing it from right to left. It's Jaden Ray with a left-handed dribble. Stands on the S, just shy of the Bearcat claw logo at center court. Now rotates to the left ring, reaching in as Avery. Ray using his speed from the free throw line. He's tripped up and a foul here called on Avery. And Jaden Ray thankfully hops right back up. You've got to see that guy stay healthy. It's a 16 foul, the first on Avery. So Marcellus Avery with his first personal, again the 16 foul. Bearcats leading 66-39 over New Mexico State. 4.22 to go on the Miller time game clock. Mario McKinney Jr. will check back in. This Aggie team at SFA on Saturday, a 1 p.m. tip-off. So things don't get easier for them, just like it hasn't gotten easier for the Bearcats. Here's Jaden Ray inbound, Savion flag, right wing three. This one rimmed in and out as well, and able to save it there were the Aggies. Good effort by Vershawn Cotton. Here's a three from the left corner, or left wing. That shot won't drop for peak. And here comes Sam Houston from right to left. Dead center is Jaden Ray. So he'll bring it into the front court. Boy, Jaden Ray been so exciting to watch. It's an 11 0 run, by the way, over the last 534. Bearcats have not scored in six minutes. Down to 53% shooting after they were close to 65. Over to Jaden Ray here at the top of the three. High screen, Epe, pick and roll back over to Cook. Cook at the top, swings this one from the right hand back to Jaden Ray. Two on the clock, fires a three, no good. A rebound and an offensive area. Yeah, it's going to be a foul here. We'll see who it is. They pointed in the direction of. Ball, the Aggie. 12, no, it's on Tristan Ipe. So that is Ipe's fourth four personal, personal the and the eighth team foul. We'll keep things right here. 
Again, oh, as the Bearcats leading 66 to 39. 339 to go on that game. Miller time game clock. Again, the Aggies 11 0 run of the last 6 0 3. Bearcats 0 of their last eight shots. They haven't scored in six minutes and 14 seconds. Crowd is loud here. You can barely hear anything here tonight. That crowd, we need to see this crowd on Saturday. Let's take a quick break. We'll go back to Carlos Zimmerman in the flagship studios. He's got a score update for you. Carlos? Thank you, Rob. Back here at the flagship KSAM studios. Sam Houston on top, 66-39 right now over New Mexico State. Quick update from Nacogdoches. Stephen F. Austin in control right now over Grand Canyon, 51-35. They're halfway home in the second half. Lamar and Dixie State just tipped off in St. George, Utah. Lamar's on top 7-2. Abilene Christian down 9 now to Seattle. They just started that second half, 35-26. Utah Valley now in the lead over UTRGV. Back over there in Utah, 40-32. They just started the second half. And then just starting the second half up in Stephenville, Cal Baptist is on top over Tarleton, 42-32. Back to Johnson Coliseum for the remainder of this one. Rob? Carlos, thank you, my friend. That's going to be one to keep an eye on again, that Grand Canyon SFA game, because Grand Canyon, they're on a tear right now as well. I believe a double-digit scoring or win streak that they're on, and they're on the road at Stephen F. Austin, uh, or battling Stephen F. Austin again tonight. We'll keep an eye on that because Grand Canyon is number one in the WAC. Number two is New Mexico State. So we could see the number one and the number two go down tonight. I haven't done the math. I don't know that that would put Sam Houston is they would remain undefeated in WAC conference play. I don't want to misspeak, but that may fling Sam Houston up to the top. Don't want to get ahead of ourselves, though. There's a lot of basketball coming up on Saturday. This is just the first of many pieces for the Bearcats as they have been chipping away, pounding the rock, if you will, over these last few games, and they've been impressive. First free throw is on the way, and it's good for Marcellus Avery, the six foot eight freshman forward, a 67% free throw. She do have one more coming up. So will take him here on the right side, 66 to 40. That one on the way, bounces in and good. Now it's a 13 to 0 run over the last six minutes. Bearcats have not scored in that time frame, of course. Jaden Ray will bring it into the front court here. I think the crowd has been a main factor of this ball game as well, and I expect to see even more on Saturday. Jaden Ray has it here on the left side, working a right-handed dribble. He is guarded by Cotton. Stands near dead center, coach shooting, calling some plays here. Jaden Ray also directing his offense. Down to nine on the shot clock. Ray has it, high screen. Ray from the left elbow. He'll take a jumper from the key. The shot won't fall. And boy, the shooting drought continues here for Sam Houston. Hooten's not happy. He's getting ready to send Javon Grant back into this ball game. Cotton has it. The right wing, McKinney Jr., guarded by Ray. 20 seconds on the shot clock. Three minutes to go here in Huntsville. Javion May strips it one-on-one -on -one to the left side, right side. That shot's no good, but it is a, I think it's going to be a goal 10. We'll wait to see. As Javion May stole it, put up a shot. It was knocked away. And, yep. Yes, sir. It's a goal, and an and one here for Javion May. That only loss for Sam Houston in whack play was at Tarleton. And I talked about that in the pregame where Javion May did not play in that game. He had a nose injury. He actually had surgery on it. Finally came back after a few games, and you put JV on May in that game, Bearcats could easily be 6-0, heading to 7-0 in WAC Conference play. Savion Flag will head over to the bench. That may be it for him tonight. Boy, what a game tonight for Savion Flag. 22 points, 25 minutes of play. JV on May at the line here. The foul was on McKinney Jr. 17 fouls for New Mexico State. Here's the and one, May. No. Well, that one. Bounced around three or four times. Avery has it here on the left wing. Drops a pass over to Cotton. Cotton trying to work inside here on Javon Grant. And a whistle here. Javon may have reached in before the shot. It's his second personal. And the ninth team foul by the Bearcats. So one and one coming up here for the Aggies on that right side. It is Vershawn Cotton. 90% free throw shooter, 9 of 10 in seven games so far this season. Averages four points and nine minutes per game. Here's Cotton on the right side. 68-41, bends his knees, right-handed free throw, shot good. He'll have one more coming up. So again, one more coming up here for Cotton. Made the first one on the front end. 
He'll bend his knees, and here's the second right-handed free throw. This one good as well. It's 68-43, 14-2 run over that last, make it 15-2 run now. Over the last seven minutes, Bearcats only one of their last 10 shots, shooting 52%. They're hot in that first half, over 60%. Nicholas Jr. back over to JV on May. Now here's Jaron Cook back up top to Javon Grant. Ken Scroggins back in there as well. Up top, Cook. He'll find Javon Grant. Bearcats running some time here. Grant, nine seconds on the shot clock. He's at the top of the three, retreats a little, now fires a three on its way. Good, baby! Javon Grant from downtown! The Bearcats, 71-43, right wing three won't fall here for Williams. It's an offensive rebound, though, by Cotton. He'll take a three. This one no good. And Kean Scroggins coming up with the rebound as he was fading his way Backwards there on that baseline. Back to Javon Grant, who just hit that three moments ago. He's got it into the front court from right to left. Crossing over his dribble. Cotton on top of him. 1.43 to go on that Miller time game clock. And by the way, we've got good post game coming up. We'll try to hear from head coach Jason Hooten. Kevin Martina getting set to check in here. He's the only one really hasn't played here. And here's a shot clock violation. Nicholas buried it, but it was too late. Shot clock violation. And Coach Hooten telling Nicholas, that's all right. Kevin Martina will check in for the first time tonight. The six foot seven freshman forward, Kevin Martina, out of Geneva, Switzerland. Always good to see him. He has played in seven games, averaging two points a game, five minutes per game. Six of 11 from the field for Martina here in his limited play this season. 118 to go on the Miller time game clock. Bearcats going to be victorious tonight. Still got a little bit of action left, though, as Marcellus Avery put up a shot from the right side. He was fouled. It's on Damon Nicholas Jr., his second, and the 10th team foul. So two free throws coming up here for Avery. Avery, a 67% free throw shooter. I think tonight I'd like to talk to Dante Powers. He had a great game. This one rattles in and out, no good here on the first free throw for Avery. One more free throw coming up. Next one on the way, no good, and there been a little violation down there. Hold on. Oh, it's called on number 22. No, it's on Kevin Martinez. as he pushed away one of the Aggie players, and the foul's gonna be on him, so now two more free throws coming up here for the Aggies on the right side again. 71-43, Sam Houston taking care of business. Most of that damage done in the first half. And then, of course, in the second half early on, they're still outscoring New Mexico State, by the way, 33-25 in the second half as well. Here is Peak at the line. First free throw is good at the bottom of the net. We'll have one more coming up. Here's Peak, the next free throw. This one no good off the front of the rim, and he gets his own rebound. Cook did not box him out. Left wing Avery, guarded by Martina. 108 to go here in Huntsville. Trying to work it inside, and Javon Grant almost stripping it. Avery able to hold on to it. Turn around, floater. Shot won't drop, but we got a foul, and two more free throws coming up. But dude's not happy. That's on Kean Scroggins, his third personal. Bearcats have already put the Aggies over the limit. 71-44, 101 to go. It's Avery, free throw, rattles in and good. Bearcats only making two of their last 11. So this last 10 minutes or so, been a little brutal for Sammy. Of course, though, they put in some of their players that normally don't get a lot of playing time, but still, the shooting has really cooled off. 53%, 26 of 49. Not a lot, though, that you can really say. This Bearcat team just dominating through the first two-thirds of this ball game tonight. Javon Grant has it here on the left side, the freshman. Guarded on the play by Cotton. He'll take it to the left wing, down to nine on the shot clock. Hand off over to Jaron Cook. Cook has it up top, down to four, clock running down. Grant's got to fire this one here. He'll drive inside, floats it left wing. That shot no good and a shot clock violation. Shot clock violation. So about a .5 second differential for the Aggies on the game clock and the shot clock. And so they'll inbound here, the Aggies do. They'll move from left to right. They'll head 
to Nacogdoches to face a very tough SFA team coming up on Saturday. Here's Avery, three-pointer on the way. This shot won't fall. Rebound, Nicholas. Bearcats will just have to bring it into the front court, and that should do it tonight here. Sam Houston dominating. They will hand the New Mexico State Aggies their first loss in whack play. The fans are on their feet. Sam Houston victorious tonight over the New Mexico State University Aggies, 71 to 46 in dominating fashion. We'll step aside, friends. We'll take a break. When we come back, we'll have post-game discussion, interviews, and more. Stay with us from Van Wagner. This is the Bearcat Sports Radio Network. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated is a family-owned, full-service business based in Huntsville, Texas. For over 20 years, they do business cards, decals, yard signs, banners, and billboards to name a few. They can design and fabricate electrical signs to fit your business needs. Busted Signs and Lights? Their 45-foot bucket truck and in-house electrician can service you. They are located at 625 Highway 190 East. Give them a call at 936-435-9966. Artex Signs and Lighting Incorporated looks forward to serving you. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be saved. Celebrate. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Enjoy a great round of golf at the Bearcat Course, formerly Raven Nest. Conveniently located on the southbound side of 45 in Huntsville, the Bearcat Course offers award-winning value with special rates for alumni, faculty, staff, and students of Sam Houston State University. Memberships are available for as low as $139 per month that include unlimited greens fees and cart fees for the whole family. Visit the golf shop to get fitted for equipment and for the full stock of Sam Houston State University logoed men's and women's apparel. Let's play golf at the all-new Bearcat Course in Huntsville. You might know that State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has great service. She is your good neighbor after all. Did you know State Farm has surprisingly great rates too? Yep, along with good neighbor service, State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes has surprisingly great rates for everyone in Huntsville and Walker County. So call State Farm agent Diana K. Barnes at 936-295-2686 for your surprisingly great rates today. Like a good neighbor, State Farm is there. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Wiesner of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past year. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring and may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Wiesner of Huntsville. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. 101.7 KSAM and the Bearcat Sports Network present the Bearcat Basketball Post Game Show. Now for an in-depth analysis of tonight's game, let's return courtside with Rob Hip. I got a friend, Rob Hip, here as Sam Houston men's basketball taking care of business tonight as they defeat New Mexico State 71 to 46 in a dominating fashion here on their home court, rocking and rolling in this ball game. And man, I gotta tell you, just a good one here tonight for Sam Houston is they found some life, found some rhythm, and really took care of it here against a very tough team. Talking about New Mexico State, the Aggies. 
And you continue to look at the domination here for this team. But Sam Houston, the only real flinch there, they ended the ball game 2 of 11 from shooting. But through that first two thirds or so, they really found a way to power through this one, shooting over 60% at the first half. Wrapping it up, 53% overall. A lot of guys getting some extra playing time, though, at the end. 26 to 40, or 26 to 49 from the field for Sam Houston. They shot 45% from downtown, 13 of 29, 67% of free throw line, and six of nine tonight. They had nine turnovers, 12 points off of 10 Aggie turnovers, 32 total rebounds, 28 on the defensive side, four offensive boards. They had five second chance points, 25 off the bench, 16 down in the paint tonight for Sam Houston. Three fast break points, one block, six steals, 20 assists in this ball game for Sam Houston. And that is just simply unbelievable how they were dishing uh, this ball out tonight. Again, taking care of it here in Huntsville. And a lot of folks were saying, man, I don't know about this Bearcat team, but I'm telling you, friends, I've said it before and I'll continue to say it, that we're only really limited by what's right between our ears, and that's our minds. And this Bearcat team has started to find some juice. and. They're really starting to believe in themselves now here in just a few moments. Dante Powers slowly making his way up over here to us and uh, excited to talk to him tonight. I don't know if I've had a chance to talk to Dante yet this season. So he's, a, he's a hobbling over here a little bit, man. But that's all right. Dante Powers getting set up for us. And uh, Dante, throw that on, young man. We got a radio audience and all those listening in the booth. And uh, Dante's getting set up here tonight. As I wanted to talk to Dante, had a lot of players out here tonight rocking and rolling, but. Uh, Dante, I've got to know you a little bit, man, over the some of the away games. I like your style, man. I like all y'all's style, but here in this one tonight, a great game for you. I know that your high this season was 14 against Schreiner, but you had 12 tonight. Uh, Dante, to me, you kind of had a breakout game in this one where your team needed you to step up. You really did. 12 points, 4 of 7, 4 of 6 from three-point land. Tell us about this. What a huge victory against this very tough New Mexico State team, man. Oh, hold on, Dante. I thought I had. There you go, Dante. All right, now I got you. Yeah, this was a good victory for us because, man, this team, they've been running the whack for a long time, and they're a very good basketball team. And I credited them. We prepared for them good. I mean, we just was the better team, but this was a big win for us, and we got another big one Saturday, so it was good to get this one under our belt. Dante, what was the preparation heading to this? I mean, you guys know that this is one of the top teams, one of the top rebounding teams. And by the way, y'all tied them in rebounds tonight, 32 to 32. This is a team that normally out rebounds opponents almost eight a game. What was kind of the preparation and the game plan heading into this into this one tonight, man? Uh, really, we went over this stuff like every other team, and it just was like guard your yard because uh, Teddy Allen, number zero, he had 41 last game, so we really was keying in on him. We was denying him on ball side, but it was just really just guard their stuff how everybody how we did everybody else and you know just guard your yard guard one-on-one -on -one. yeah you talk about Allen having 41 they nicknamed him buckets well those buckets were dry tonight for that young man still an amazing athlete but only two points talk a little bit about your defense man you guys have just been phenomenal on the defensive side you know you go back to the to the game versus SFA you hold them to 12 points in the first half you held these guys to a to a low in the first half as well I don't even remember I was to 18 uh, that's pretty impressive, man. You held your opponents to only 30 points over the last two games. Talk a little bit about that and just the defensive effort, man. Uh, well, we are a defensive team. We hang our head on defense. I mean, so we're going to get after it regardless because that's the way Coach Hoon plays and that's the way he wants us to play. So, But we always been keyed in on defense. It just took us a little time to get used to each other in the preseason. But now we're gelling in. We're, we're looking good. I just got two final quick questions for you. You talked about you guys are gelling, you're feeling good. I mentioned it, too, on the pregame with Coach Hoot. And, of course, when you're winning, everybody's having fun. But, you know, I think from what I saw at the beginning of the season, a lot of those preseason – or I call them preseason, but your non-conference games, it wasn't that you guys didn't like each other because you always like each other. But it just seemed like maybe there was a disconnect. Y'all were still trying to learn the system. Uh, you got some new players. You're trying to learn how to play with them. But now it just seems like there's this brotherhood. And I've enjoyed being on the road with y'all because I've experienced that, just getting to know you guys. But it seems like there's so much camaraderie and friendship now and a brotherhood. Talk a little bit about that, man, and just how that's been able to improve because that's also been a big factor in these wins lately. Man, I tell you, man, we're a family. Like, we're a close-knit family. Like, we're, we're literally brothers. Like, that's how we look at it. Like, we're, we don't look at it as we're teammates. Like, the whole staff from the trainers on down to the managers, we're all family. And I think they're starting to show with our play because, like, in El Paso, we got beat bad by a good Bradley team. And we just, you know, we had a talk in the locker room. Everybody got stuff off their chest. And I just feel like we turned it around from that when we took that trip to El Paso. So I, I, 
Man, I love those guys, man. I promise I do. And I, I'm just thankful for to have them as teammates. And I'm also thankful for the coaches and everybody that put their time into this organization. Man, if you're, I'm about to tear up up here listening to you talk <laughs> about this, man. Again, just real quickly, we're talking to our impact player of the game, Dante Powers. Dante, final last question for you, man. I, I see you out there on the road when we're traveling. You're having a lot of fun, man. You're kind of the jokester for the team. I mean, how do the guys like that? It's been a lot of fun just seeing you joke around. You're always singing, making up stuff, man. Mm -hmm. Talk a little bit about that and just how fun that is, too, I mean, man. I'm just a goofy person at heart. <laughs> so whether I'm playing bad, playing good, I'm always joking around. And I think we got a lot of goofballs on our team as well. Like, <laughs> from on down, like, everybody, like, got their little share. But, I mean, that's just me. Like, I'm, I've am i been a goofy person. and. I'm going to continue to be that way. Well, it's making a difference, and you're so good with kids, too. We saw that in that Sun Bowl Invitational Tournament. You were down there having a blast with the kids. So I think you got a bright future, whatever direction you choose to go, man. Continuing basketball and then, you know, one day helping out kids down the road. You're going to make a huge difference. You already are. So finally, camera's right there on you. When you sat down, about 2.8 million people hopped on our In the Boost stream. We got another 100,000 <laughs> listening on the radio. <laughs> Who do you want to send a shout-out to tonight, man? Man, I just want to shout-out to my family at home, my mom, my dad, and everybody, man, because I really don't get to see them, but I just want to shout out to them, and I love y'all, and I'm going to continue to make y'all proud. Awesome. Once again, our Impact Player of the Game, Dante Powers tonight, 12 points, a great performance by this young man in 22 minutes. Dante, thank you so much, my yes, friend. Yes, sir. Appreciate it. Big one coming up Saturday. That was Dante Powers. We appreciate him, and then we'll have a brief conversation with the winning head coach, Jason Hooten, as he'll make his way over here tonight. And uh, Coach, as always, man, I know I always tell you, but it's it's because I do. I appreciate you and all that you do. Coach, heck of a win tonight for your guys. They came out strong, firing hot. I think 65% almost in that first half. I said for the first two-thirds of the game, you guys played almost flawless. I know you brought in some other guys that don't get a lot of playing time in that second half. But, uh, Coach, this has to go down as, as one of the biggest victories for your team in, in a long time. Talk about this one. Well, it's a real good basketball team that we beat tonight. And, you know, they may not have been their best tonight. I've seen them play much better, of course, but I thought we played well and we did what we needed to do, and we made shots. And I think when we make shots like we did tonight, we're, we're going to be right there. You know, I think we can be talked about with everybody else in the league. And, you know, and then it doesn't hurt to have a, an All-American like, you know, Savion Flag, And, you know, to play five minutes, six, seven, eight minutes in the first half and us to be up as much as we were at halftime just says a lot about our kids. And, you know, maybe that was good for us. Maybe we needed a victory like that tonight. Of course, he played great in the second half, and he just, you know, he just draws so much attention, which, you know, those double teams, he's such a great passer, and he got, you know, got other guys going, and, um, you know, we just, we're, we're blessed. We played well. We're blessed. We got a win, and now Saturday afternoon, we get to play one of the best teams that's ever come into Johnson Coliseum. Absolutely. Well, it was a good one here tonight. Coach, I won't keep you too long, but I always like to talk about just the energy. And it was all smiles here tonight. Another great crowd. Uh, we've been promoting all week, saying you got to get out to Johnson. And, of course, we're going to need a big crowd on Saturday. But just kind of your thoughts again on how much this crowd makes an impact on this team here at home. I mean, people just don't realize what kind of uh, input or what kind of just what they can do for a team. I mean, it's amazing, those guys, how energetic they get playing in front of people. And, you know, it's just what we need. We need everybody in here. And, I, you know, I mean, you're coming and watching a team that's won eight out of ten games or nine out of 11 or I don't know what we've done. But we're just getting better. I think we're fun to watch. I think it's a fun brand of basketball. This league is much better than the Southland. And, you know, you're getting to see really good teams, and you've got a good team right here. And I, and I think that, you know, people will keep coming and people will get to see and we'll we'll keep playing better for them final question coach as uh, we'll let you head out of here again appreciate you you know i was talking to dante powers a few moments ago i like to try to talk to different guys um and dante just had a phenomenal game and he talked about that bradley game and afterwards and he just said we got stuff off of our chest during that game and he said to me that was really the turnaround uh, that was a tough one there in the sun bowl invitational uh, but then of course taking care of business versus north carolina central it seems like things have really picked up since then just kind of your thoughts on that and just how these guys can talk to each other now and not get upset with each other and just say hey we're here to play ball let's be a brotherhood let's play basketball and let's do what we do well i think a big part of that is is like you said i believe maybe the last time you and i spoke you know getting to know each other time but i do think that you know i every in every season there's a come to jesus moment i call it that and there was one in that locker room after that bradley game and everybody got everything off their chest we kind of went through each other and we kind of told each other what we needed to do better and what we needed from each guy and 
you know, I think since that moment, guys have responded to each other and responded to me, and it was become a better basketball team. And you know, we're six and one right now. I'm sure a lot of people didn't think we'd be six and one at this point, but we got a long ways to go. Man, we got 11 games left, and a lot, a lot of things can happen between now and then. And what we got to do is enjoy this one tonight, and then we just got to get ready for two o'clock Saturday afternoon because it'll be here before you know it. And I just hope we got a great crowd like we had tonight because it's going to be a hell of a basketball game. Absolutely. Coach, again, thank you for all that you do. Congratulations on the win. And the last game, of course, now the all-time winningest coach in Sam Houston history and now starting to build upon that even more. Uh, coach, I, I can't change up things, man. we got to say eat them up cats because it's working. So one, two, three. Eat them up, up cats. cats. All right. Let's do it. Head coach Jason Hooten down here Thanks, with us. Man. We'll step aside. Appreciate we'll take you. a break. Appreciate you. you too, Coach. We'll step aside. We'll take a break. And uh, we'll have one final segment when we come back as we wrap Wrap this one up. Again, Bearcats victorious tonight here versus New Mexico State, 71-46. to We'll be back in just a brief moment. Stay with us. From Van Wagner, this is the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. Hey y'all, it's Aaron Watson. Need a new vehicle? It may only be a swipe away. Every time you swipe your first financial bank Visa debit card between now and the end of February, you will be automatically entered into a drawing to win a new vehicle of your choice. Swipe often and you will soon be driving up and down that honky tonk highway. For promotion rules and a list of participating dealers, visit ffin.com slash sweepstakes. No purchase necessary, member FDIC. Hi there, it's Clint Mack from Wiesner of Huntsville. This time of year brings us thoughts of holiday seasons, thoughts of family and being with those we love. We also think about last year and the new year to come. And from us at Wiesner of Huntsville, we thank you for your friendship and business over the past year. We wish you all the love and happiness the season can bring and may it follow you through the coming new year. Merry Christmas and Happy New Year from Wiesner of Huntsville. Ticket Smarter is glad we are back to holding live events. If you are looking to buy tickets to the best sports, concerts, and theater events, all at the very best price, look no further than TicketSmarter.com or on the app. Buying tickets at Ticket Smarter will help support children in need. For every ticket transaction on Ticket Smarter, $1 will be donated to a children's charity. Ticket Smarter is proud to be the official ticketing partner of Bearcat Athletics. Ticket Smarter, a smarter way to buy tickets. All right, friends, we wrap it up here tonight from Johnson Coliseum in Huntsville, Texas. Thanks for being a part of this broadcast. We got some final last duties here to kind of clean up before we get going. Wanted to go over real quick. Stephen F. Austin on their home court in Nacogdoches right now, leading Grand Canyon 66 to 44 with 3:48 to go in that ball game. So it looks like Grand Canyon will also get their first loss in the WAC. Seattle also on the road tonight at Abilene Christian. They are ahead though right now of the Wildcats. 47 to 43 so Seattle remains the lone unbeaten team as it stands I know not official yet with that Grand Canyon more than likely SFA going to hold on so if that's the case and then Seattle holds on they will remain the only unbeaten team in WAC conference play of course they've lost a couple in non-conference play but again holding on 47 to 43 there um, so you'll have a few one lost teams in conference play as the night trickles on here we'll quickly go over some final again Sam Houston ended the ball game on shooting two of their last 11 they were did not score in the last 214, but overall they took care of business tonight, outscoring New Mexico in both or New Mexico State in both halves, 38 to 18 in the first, 33 28 in the second. Again, that final 71 to 46. Final team stats here for Sam Houston: they shot 26 of 49 from the field at 53%, 13 of 29 from three-point land. They were six of nine from the charity stripe at 67%, nine turnovers, 12 points off of. 10 Aggie turnovers, 32 total boards. They had 28 on the defensive glass, four on the offensive clear. They also had five second chance points, 25 off the bench, 16 points down in the paint, three fast break points, one block, six steals. And as I mentioned earlier, how about 20 assists? They led for 38 minutes and 59 seconds and showing officially tied for only 47 seconds. For the New Mexico State University Aggies tonight, a team that normally shoots close to 48%, they were held to 28%, 13 of 47 from the field, six of 27 from downtown. 
downtown, that's 22%. They were 14 of 23 from the free throw line. 10 turnovers. They had only one point off of nine Sam Houston turnovers. They tied rebounds with Sam Houston at 32, 21 on the defensive glass, 11 offensive boards. They had 12 second chance points, 29 off the bench, 14 down in the paint, four fast break points, no blocks, one steal, and only eight assists. Your leading scorer for the New Mexico State Aggies tonight, no one was in double digits. Normally, Allen is the leader who puts up almost 19 or so per game. He had 41 in the previous matchup versus Abilene Christian. I mentioned earlier, he was only held to two points in this ball game. You had two in double digits. It's McCants, who was a little bit hot earlier, two of five from three-point land. He only had seven threes entering this game out of about 31 attempts. He put up two more in here, two of five, three of seven overall from the field in 16 minutes. McCants had 18 points. Tillman finished the game, two of five from the field, one of four from downtown, three for three from the free throw line in 15 minutes. He had eight points. Others getting into the action tonight. A lock had six points, and then behind him was McKinney Jr. and Pryor with five, and Avery had four, two points apiece for Allen and McNair Jr. Williams had three, by the way, peak with one. For your Sam Houston Bearcats, for the 20th straight game in every career game as a Sam Houston Bearcat, Savion Flag in double digits again. In 25 minutes, he was 8 of 16 from the field, 5 of 12 from three-point land, 1 of 2 from the charity stripe. He had one rebound, three assists, three fouls, two turnovers. Again, in 25 minutes, 22 points for Savion Flag. Behind him, our impact player of the game, Dante Powers. He was 4 of 7 from the field, 4 of 6 from downtown. Four rebounds, four assists, one foul, no turnovers. In 22 minutes, Dante Powers had 12 points. Also in double digits tonight for your Bearcats, DeMarcus light him up Lampley. Four of seven from the field, two of five from that three-point line. He had two rebounds, one assist, two turnovers in 29 minutes. Lampley with 10 points. Other players getting into the action tonight. Tristan Ipe had eight points in 29 minutes. Kuba Kowalski, the fan favorite, he had 12 points or six points in 12 minutes. Ray finished up with four. Grant with six. And Scroggins had one. Also, Javion May had two. Ipe with eight. But Javion May playing a big defensive force uh, in this ball game for the Bearcats. So once again, the Bearcats victorious tonight. Here in this one, taking care of business against New Mexico State, 71 to 46, and the fourth overall meeting between these two teams that dates back to the 1980s. Friends, as always, this broadcast has been author authorized under rights granted by Sam Houston to Van Wagner. The accounts and descriptions of this broadcast may not be retransmitted in any form without the express written consent of Van Wagner and Sam Houston Athletics. The executive producers of Sam Houston Basketball is Zach Kaditz. The coordinating producer is Desiree Chambers. And a special thanks to the Sam Houston Athletic Communications Office, Jason Barfield, Ben Reichard, and Cody Stark. Studio operations at the flagship by KSAM, Carlos Zimmerman, running it for us tonight. Also appreciate him with the score updates as well as our halftime show. Tune in for the next broadcast. That's coming up on Saturday at 2 p.m. right back here at Johnson Coliseum facing Grand Canyon. We need everyone to come out and support the Bearcats here. You can get your tickets at GoBearCats.com again Saturday at 2 p.m. For those of you that can't make it, maybe not close to Huntsville or East Texas, you can always catch the games in the booth and on the Bearcats Sports Radio Network. Friends, I'm Rob Hip, reminding you tonight that we're not strong enough alone to make it on our own. We need each other. Provide a word of encouragement. Lend a hand of support. Somebody out there needs you. Good night, and God bless from Huntsville, Texas. We'll see you, friends. Every life is unique. Some are filled with sports or music. Whatever memories you have, you can trust the hometown experts at Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home. I'm Greg Smith, owner of Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home, and we have planned and arranged thousands of services, each as unique as the life being celebrated. When it's time, you can trust us to help you and your family plan a remembrance to mirror a life well lived. We're Sam Houston Memorial Funeral Home because every life deserves to be celebrated. Curious about what real estate agents enjoy the most? It's about reminding our clients that dreams really do come true. Remax is the number one real estate company nationwide. Remax Prime Properties is a locally owned family business in Huntsville. Need a realtor knowledgeable in our area? Call one of our experienced agents and let us guide you home. Remax Prime Properties is located at 1215 Financial Plaza, Huntsville, Texas, and is a proud partner of SHSU Athletics. Eat em up, cats. 
At HEB, we know that game day is about more than the game itself. The taste of victory is unparalleled, but so is the taste of HEB jalapeno poppers hot off the grill. Seeing the best players in their prime is truly something to behold. So is an HEB Prime One burger that you grilled to perfection. For low prices on all the things that make game day great and delicious, visit HEB, your official game day headquarters, or use the Buy HEB app to order curbside and start prepping for game day right away. You've been listening to Sam Houston State University Bearcat Basketball. No portion of this game may be rebroadcast without express written consent from Sam Houston State University. Our broadcast partners for 101.7 KSAM. We are the Bearcat Sports Network.